Korean toll in airstrikes they are facilitating, adding that at this point, it's clear that the Saudi-led coalition is either grossly negligent or intentionally targeting civilians. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Cecil Richards, Planned Parenthood president, disputed claims the organization sells fetal tissue at a House committee hearing on Tuesday. Republicans on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee are seeking to bar Planned Parenthood from obtaining federal funds, largely on the pretext of videos purported to show officials of the health organization attempting to sell fetal tissue. In a prepared remark, Richards said the latest smear campaign is based on efforts by our opponents to entrap our doctors and clinicians into breaking the law, and once again, our opponents have failed. Richard said the videos were deceptively edited, released by a group that is dedicated to making abortion illegal, adding that Planned Parenthood only sells a small amount of fetal tissue and recovers only reasonable expenses within the law. She noted the majority of the group's federal funding comes through Medicare reimbursements and other payments for birth control and cancer screening services, and that no federal funding is directed to abortion services. The Republican push to block the funding comes as a stopgap spending bill to keep the government operating past Thursday is under consideration. ExpressCoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and more. ExpressCoin prides themselves on their customer service, so much so that the back end on the website should allow them to be even more focused on your needs. Get started at expresscoin.fppradio.com. Reuters reports Georgia's parole board denied a request for clemency by the lone woman on the state's death row just hours before her scheduled execution on Tuesday for her role in her husband's murder. The state's Board of Pardons and Parole met Tuesday to decide whether its refusal earlier this year to commute the sentence of Kelly Gissendander's sentence to life in prison should stand. Board members were not swayed by the inmate's latest appeal for clemency, which emphasized her model behavior in prison and remorse for plotting her husband's murder in 1997. They also did not appear moved by a letter sent by an archbishop on behalf of Pope Francis urging them to commute the inmate's death sentence. Several last-minute appeals to the U.S. Supreme Court and Georgia Supreme Court were denied. Gesson Daner was executed at 12.21 a.m. on Wednesday. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. According to a new report released this week by the Pew Research Center, a rising number of weak, emasculated men are working as stay-at-home dads, with a steadily increasing number of feeble, pathetic fayboys choosing to spend their days cooking, cleaning, and performing other submissive duties. Well, our findings indicate that more and more pussified half-men are not going to work and instead are embarrassing themselves by purchasing groceries, packing children's lunches, and denying all aspects of their masculinity on a daily basis. The Onion spoke to one of these effete, pathetic excuses for men to get his response on the new report. I love being able to stay home with Angela. I mean, it's a lot of work, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. What a f***ing pussy. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. is the Onion News Network.
Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. I'm going to take the board operator's word that we're live here. I don't see the, I don't have any indication, but uh, we're just going to pretend. So <laughs> it's, it's Mark here with you. Rich Paul. And you can call in and uh, talk about whatever's uh, on your mind. I've got a story here that, uh, well, I was trying to get a hold of it, uh, talk about it yesterday, but it uh, just didn't fit in. It is a uh, a gal. She's a coach, and she coaches little girls, uh, basketball, soccer, and I can't even remember what all uh, other sports she's on, but she's busy coaching. Like, she likes to coach little girl sports. Well, apparently, uh, just a, uh, not too long ago, she had a, a guy who was behind her while she was coaching basketball, and you know how sometimes you'll try to psych out the other team? You know, you'll say, I, I remember when we played uh, uh, softball or baseball in school, we'd uh, we'd say things like, hey, bada, 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 swing, right? Like just mm-hmm. trying to to throw the other player off. And I don't know very much about sports sing, but I'm told that people who sports do that sort of thing. Indeed, they do. Um, and this is, uh, from the best I can tell, what was going on here at this basketball team. So uh, this guy was on the other side and, um, you know, he was vote- rooting for the other team and I'm sure this lady's had to deal with her fair share of people who, you know, don't quite understand exactly how uh, appropriate it is to take, how seriously they should be taking children's sports, right? Oh, yeah. And, but, you know, the guy was saying things to her the whole game. And apparently she turned around and said something to him. Um, But let's just go ahead and say that uh, what he claims that she said to him was true. Mm. She called him a, a Richard, right? You a get what? the idea with the nickname for Richard? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it kind of sounds like duck. Right. And so she calls the guy a duck. And, you know, you'd think that'd be the end of it. That's with autocorrect. She called him a duck. A duck, yeah. Okay. Turns out this duck, um, who was a uh, captain for the police department in that uh, in the next town over. Now this was a an oh, away I bet game. He really is a duck then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was an away game and uh the the ducks team was uh, visiting the this lady's uh gymnasium or whatever. And obviously conducting himself in a fashion that would uh, cause this uh, coach at the very least to turn around and talk to somebody in the audience, right? <laughs> like normally yeah, you know she's not going to do that. Why right. would she, why would she pick him? Uh, for instance, why would she pick the big, burly police captain to pick on? Mm-hmm. So uh, she, they they took her to the side, I, I believe causing a forfeit to the game, like taking her out of the gym. And because she wasn't in the gym, the game was forfeit in the last two minutes. Wow. And then it was, this wasn't enough. Um, there was all kinds of well, – let me go – let me read the story here. This is coming from uh, Burleson, uh, Texas, wife – Mother, respected coach of young girls in North Texas, she never, Jessica Kurz, never thought she'd be framed in such a picture. This is a picture of her in uh, uh, sort of, you know, jail getup. Um, she was uh, dressed in jail stripes, her back against Wait, the wall. they actually arrested her? <laughs> I'm not kidding you, dude. It's nuts. Oh, Remember, wow. you got to consider this is Texas, what and they a take duck. their right. And this com- guy was a complete duck. He is a complete duck, right? Like this, <laughs> this duck should never have been given a badge, let alone promoted up to captain. Given a badge, should be walking around st- loose, even. <laughs> one, <laughs> one might wonder. So um, she's up against the wall. Her picture standing. She's five feet six inches tall. It was uh, the heat of emotions during a game between nine-year-olds that an off-duty policeman, they don't mention he's a captain here, uh, like right off, you think you'd do that, Mm. said she called him an ugly name. Cruz denied the accusation, saying the officer, in plain clothes, misunderstood her. Nevertheless, the incident threw her in jail for six hours, beginning with the click of her mugshot. It blows my mind, she said to uh, CBS uh, 11 News. I don't understand how someone could have uh, have it in them to do something so horrible, she said of the off-duty police captain who put her in there. Before she was 
introduced to the justice system. <laughs> justice system. They had the guts to write I that, that in there. that was the just us system. <laughs> right. <laughs> this ducks system. For the... Uh, for the first time, the 31-year-old coach from Burleson was best known for her girls winning teams. No matter what sport, soccer, softball, basketball, there was one time when her girls even beat the boys, much to the consternation of the parents on the opposing team. Then, in late February, during a basketball game in Burleson with a uh, strong rival, Alvarado, all hell broke out. The whole game, they're saying little things uh, at me, like, quiet, so the coaches hear it. My husband hears it. The monitor heard it. So this is what she's saying is, is going on. I mm. imagine, you know, if I was, I would, what my guess would be that they're going after a girl's coach is they're saying all kinds of things about her being a lesbian. Wouldn't, wouldn't you, that be your guess? Uh, well, that's usually the first place that sort goes. Yeah. I'm just thinking, um, you know, softball, right? It's just right there. Now, mm-hmm. This lady doesn't look. This is a highly attractive woman. Um, you know, she's a she's the prettiest PE coach I've ever seen. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, it, uh, it it goes on with uh, just minutes left to play. She said something back in words that are still in dispute. But the warrant for her arrest issued more than two months later says her behavior constituted a criminal offense, calling somebody a duck, or the that rhymes with duck. What was the charge? Um, they, at this point, I, I, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I read through the article, but I don't remember. The, the charge doesn't uh, stick out in my mind. The assessment came from the person she exchanged word w- words with that day, off-duty Captain Gary Melson of the Alvarado Police Department. He told her he'd heard her use profanity. Melson declined uh, requests by the I-team to give his account of what happened during that game. Additionally, the Alvarado Police Department wouldn't give CBS 11 a statement either. But the game's referee, Andy Lowe, did talk to us. That's absurd. I saw nothing that happened in that gym that would warrant anybody having to go to jail, Love said. We got a, we got a foul. I blow the whistle. I turn to report my foul, and I've got some guy standing on the edge of the gym floor grabbing a coach by the arm. This is the referee. (laughs) Just trying to pull her off the court, he said. Kerr said he was wearing totally normal clothes. This guy, he's just a guy who's been pestering her the whole game. Love said he went over to find out what was going on, at which time Melson told him, I'm an off-duty Alvarado police captain, and I'm holding this lady for the Burleson police. The arriving officer from Burleson filed a report um, that said Melson didn't want a citation issued, but just wanted the issue to be resolved. So the police captain didn't want a citation issue, is the claim. Probably what the police officer said is, I'm not issuing a citation for this. Mm -hmm. Seems He doesn't want his name uh, involved. Love said those officers seemed dismayed that they were uh, called in the first place. Quite honestly, one of them had a problem keeping a straight face, the referee said. Free to go, Kurz went directly from Borelson to coach another game in Alvarado, where she was met by another officer from that town who handed her a criminal trespass warning that said she was not wanted in their school gym. So she's now been given a trespass warning for the other for the other school's gym. She signed the warning as requested by the officer and was allowed to stay and watch the game because her daughter was playing, but she was not allowed to coach. It was not clear what, if any, uh, anything initiated the warning other than Melson's accusation that Kurz had said something ugly to him at the earlier game in Burleson. Both the Alvarado School District and a private youth association that was using the gym told the I-team that they did not ask the police to issue the warning. Mm-hmm. Kurz said that she thought her run-in with Melson was uh, behind her uh, after that day, but more than two months later... 8.55, um, we're out. It was the most amazing thing I have ever seen. The yeast is receding, and now his belly is completely cleared up. It chokes me up. It brings tears to my eyes. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com.
Did you know that select musical tones have the power to heal? By listening to seven amazing songs that contain these tones, you can experience the power of music therapy. I used to work in a pretty stressful atmosphere, but I started using the whole tones in the office, and I'm experiencing more focus, motivation, peace, and better relationships. WholeTones99.com is a unique music therapy program featuring seven secret ancient healing frequencies uncovered in the music of King David. Now you too can unlock the healing secrets of the Bible as we are offering a free sample of this music so that you can discover their power to heal, relieve stress, and break negative cycles. I use the tone to calm my five, three, and two-year-old to stop the fighting, and it works. Now you can experience the healing music therapy in the comfort of your own home or office. Visit WholeTones99.com com and get a free song. Visit W-H-O-L-E Tones 99.com today for your free song. That's Whole Tones 99.com. Whole Tones 99.com. Shortly after members of the New York Police Department found a super sharp buck brand pocket knife earlier this morning, Lieutenant Joseph Mattioli spoke to Onion reporters at the scene of the discovery to update the public on this potentially deadly blade. At 8.40 a.m. police discovered what seems to be a pretty badass buck knife. Investigators believe it to be basically the deadliest knife ever. Mattioli confirmed that the pretty cool wood-handled knife has a clean edge and added that the blade must be, quote, at least like eight inches long. At this time, we'd like everyone to be aware that there's probably a man out there with an eye patch and scars all over his face that has access to these knives, or maybe even a samurai sword. We urge people to be careful when approaching him because he may flip out and chop both your arms off before you even realize it. Following the announcement, Mattioli asked people to come forward if they had any information about the owner of the knife or if they just wanted to hold it for a couple of seconds. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Oh, it's Free Talk Live. I think I have the audio issues worked out here, so I am uh, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm as pleased as I possibly can. It's Mark here with you. Rich Paul. And Ian is, well, he had to call in this evening, so uh, we're hoping uh, all the best for him. The number here is 855-450-3733. And what we're talking about is the situation out of Texas. It's a, uh, um, it actually occurred in, started in February of this year, but it, it just kind of keeps going. It's a saga for this woman. She's a coach and, well... She was coaching a game, and some guy behind her was kind of heckling her. You know, I mean, these things are going to happen to coaches. And at some point or another, she turned around and gave her a piece of his mind, her mind. Now, as to exactly what occurred there, it's hard to say. She, there, there, there's a dispute. But if we go with the worst-case scenario, the guy that was behind her, well, he turns out to be a police captain. And, uh, but he was in plain clothes. She had no idea. She calls him, um, well, it's a nickname short for Richard. It, it rhymes with duck, um, so she calls him a duck, and uh, if she, you put it in autocorrect, we'll probably give you duck. Yeah, yeah. He um he, he didn't like that, and so he called the police. Um, she he wasn't what in a his town. Duck. Yeah, what a, what a complete duck, and so this duck go, calls the police, and now this isn't his town. He's the captain, but he's not a captain of this town's police. 
And these these officers want nothing to do with this story. Not a problem. They didn't give a duck. And they did not give a duck. Not a complete duck. <laughs> and so these uh, these these officers, not ducks. Or were they ducking their duty? <laughs> <laughs> they uh they they let you know just like forget about it so this okay. no big deal though this lady she she's heading off to this guy's school district right this this uh, police captain of uh, alvarado texas well now she's got to go a you know a few minutes later after getting out of this uh, uh this game and playing alvarado she's got to go to alvarado to to coach another game a different game well, he sends one of his cops over there, apparently knowing where she's got to go. Must must have happened in the conversation. And that guy gives her a no trespassing for the school. Now, he couldn't keep her out from watching the game because her daughter was in it, apparently. But she wasn't allowed to coach the game. Um, now, it doesn't say whether or not the uh, her team won that particular one, whether her coaching mm-hmm. would have made a difference. It's hard to say. But... Let me let me continue with the story because it is it's just an amazing one. So more than two months later, Kurz, that's the the coach lady, she opens up her mail and found a warrant for her arrest, accusing her of evading arrest. When I opened that envelope, I promise you all the color went out of my face, she said. Kurz turned herself in at the Johnson County Jail where she spent six days. Hours, even though paperwork said it should have been a walkthrough with no time behind bars. So mm. she, this is the old saying as uh, amongst police is, you might beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. And yeah, what's definitely. that mean, Rich? Uh, well, it means to me, get a lawyer before you turn yourself in uh, is one thing that it means. But basically it means that uh, even if you beat the charge, They've got you where they can do whatever they want to you in the meantime while you're beating the charge. And they like to use this in creative ways, like saying, yeah, if you plead guilty, we'll give you 45 days. But if you plead innocent, we'll hold you in jail until you have a court hearing in 60 days. Right. That's and that's how it goes so often is, is that uh, it's it's easier to just plead out and be guilty. Now, this lady. Uh, yeah. I don't suspect she's going to do that, but I hope not. Another thing about getting the attorney, uh, Rich, is um, you know this is sort of important. Is well, he, she probably couldn't have gotten a uh, you know public defender, so she would have had to pay for the attorney. Six hours in jail. I don't know about you, but let's say it costs a thousand dollars to retain an attorney. Mm. Even in retrospect, I'd rather spend six hours in jail than uh, than have to retain an attorney for a thousand bucks. Do you get my my drift? Uh, yeah. The, I mean. I would say that it would be worth getting the attorney if he can make this police chief look like exactly the duck that he is in court. I I sincerely hope that she can find one that will do that. So, um, I wish we could call these guys up and tell them what we think of them. (laughs) You can't put somebody just on the air um, when uh, you know without them knowing about it. And you know the police are very smart about not commenting on ongoing cases. They're not going to do that. So right, but yes, it would be fun. There's no doubt about it. Last week, seven months after the game between Burleson and Alvarado, police in Alvarado finished their paperwork in the case and handed it over to Burleson prosecutors. They were about to formally file a Class A misdemeanor charge against Kurz. That means like it's a year in jail, um, but mm-hmm. accusing her of intentionally flee of, or fleeing from Melson, even though she knew she that he was a peace officer who was attempting to lawfully arrest or detain the defendant. However, the uh, qu- county attorney Bill Moore said his office is. Reconsidering filing a charge in light of what the I-team has uncovered and will continue to review the case in hopes of interviewing further witnesses, including the referee. Love. I got to say, if you're getting if you're arresting somebody for calling a pig a duck, (laughs) uh, you're not a peace officer. (laughs) <laughs> well, in this case, he he is the police peace officer they're talking about, the one that called the duck. So supposedly he's a peace officer. And mm-hmm. here's this to me is a very important factor. The county attorney was filing charges. This was moving forward. Suddenly, the county attorney's like, "Oh yeah, well yeah. Now that the I team's done some investigation, we find out the re- referee there, uh, you know, has a completely different story than the police captain. Then uh, let's." We'll look into this a little further before they charge her. The suggestion here is completely on the word of this police captain without doing an ounce of investigation. Mm. The prosecutor's office is ready to charge. 
They never bothered talking to the referee before this. They're ready to just run somebody through the system. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the real problems with the system. Who's this going to cost? It's not going to cost the prosecutor. It's not going to cost the police captain, duck fella. Mm -hmm. It's not going to cost the judge. It's not going to cost that little lady stenographer that's typing away there. It's not going to cost anybody except Coach Kurz. She's got to pay. As a matter of fact, everybody but her is going to get paid for this. The pig is going to get paid. And I call him a pig because he acted like a pig. I'll stick with cops if they're not being pigs. But In this case, she called him a duck, and I'd say that he's completely acted like a big, old, fat, throbbing duck. Absolutely. And that... And he's getting paid while he's doing it. He's yeah. getting, he's working extra hours as he's filling out reports and manipulating the system to make sure that she gets the worst she can get. Here's what my guess is: the uh, the the prosecutors over there in Burleson are not going to. They're 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 just going to let this drop. Mm-hmm. They're just going to be like, okay, well, it looks like this is just a misunderstanding, and we'll stay away from it. Whereas, however, what they should be doing, if they have doubt here. Then the police captain needs to be brought up on charges too. Absolutely. If there's a doubt, they they had no doubt that the woman was guilty simply on the say so of the police officer. Then that means mm. that if they, you know, suddenly they have a doubt, well, what about the word of the uh, the referee and the coach and whoever else is there? Let's bring mm. this police captain up and show police captains across the United States that they can't just act however they want. Mm-hmm. This is completely unacceptable behavior by a police, uh, by a peace officer, as they're called here. Absolutely abuse of authority, and I hope that she will sue him in federal court for violating her First Amendment rights, which is exactly what this duck did. Indeed. Your thoughts, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Destiny? Destiny, can you hear me? Free freeze-dried meal to all listeners of this program. Go to foodinsurance.com and request your free meal today. That's foodinsurance.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 85% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. If you're a regular reader of FreeKeen.com, you know there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at FreeKeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at FreeKeen.com. That's FreeKeen.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. 
The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. The number. Well, I'll give it to you in just a second here. I want to tell you real quick what's going on. So, there's this coach. Her name's uh, Kerr. Well, it's kind of unfortunate, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? Her name is Kerr. She's by no means a Kerr. She's a, a, a beautiful woman uh, from this uh, picture here. But uh, she was coaching a girls' basketball team, and somebody in the audience was heckling her the whole game. At some point or another, she turns around, gives him a piece of her mind. Turns out that fella is a police captain for a neighboring town. He decides to have her arrested, and the ordeal she has gone through uh, is just its harrowing um, and incredible here going to go on with it here in, in in just a second but i want to tell you about pro xpn if you care about your privacy while you're on the internet you need pro xpn it's a virtual private network that encrypts all of your online data before it even gets to your internet service provider pro xpn does does it all right they offer open vpn the gold standard of network encryption they've got apps for windows mac ios android there's even linux support uh, plus unlike that makes, by the way, makes a setup a cinch. Unlike those other guys, ProXPN keeps no logs of your activities whatsoever. Now ProXPN has even more servers than they ever had before, giving you greater speed and security. They've also integrated uh, noncle.com to mask your emails if you get a premium account. They accept credit card and even Bitcoin. You can get 50% uh, off your regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account when you buy an annual account with our code FTL50. It can end up being a cheaper per month than a, a good cup of coffee. And now they've sweetened the deal even further. If you go to ProXPN.com slash AMP and you pay with Bitcoin, you get two years of ProXPN.com for only forty nine ninety five. Plus, five bucks a year purchase will go to the AMP program to help Free Talk Live spread the ideas of liberty. This is a really great deal. Um, it's incredible. It's like half price of the already half price that we had gotten this is an incredible discount it's a huge way to say, save but only if you pay with bitcoin you keep hearing about your online privacy being infringed well go to proxpn.com now use the code ftl50 um, or go to proxpn.com slash amp and take advantage of their amp offer help spread the ideas of liberty and take back your privacy i was uh, i've been using proxpn for quite some time all my websites, that's where I go. I can't tell anything as far as speed or anything. It's worth using. It's, it makes things great. So this, uh, this coach lady, she was just surprised at this incident where this police captain uh, gets her thrown in jail for six hours. Mugshot taken. She's never expected anything like this. A warrant for arrest comes in the mail. Of course, the prosecutor, he's like, well, I guess we're going to have to look at this again in light of the testimony that you've provided with us. Uh, this is News 11 here in... Uh, I guess near Dallas that uh, has done it. CBS 11. But well, it was nice that News 11 did that prosecutor's job since he clearly neglected to. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. He didn't check with the the referee to see what happened. He just took the captain's word for it because yeah. that's what they do. Yeah. The prosecutors just take the cops' word for it, yeah. and 
I, you know, I don't know how many times this happens in the United States, but I can tell you if a class of people feels like there's no check and balance against their behavior, they're going to act like madmen. Yeah, absolutely. That's how human beings work. If you mm-hmm. at work were able to do whatever you wanted, you would be hell on wheels. Mm-hmm. If your department was able to get, you know, maybe it's more accurate to say, if your department was able to get away to do whatever it wanted without a check, I mean, my God, you would be a terrible employee. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what's happened with this police captain. He's a terrible employee. Uh, the coach says, it's just so in- competitive. This man and these fans and this coach were so into this game of nine-year-olds, of third graders, that things like this happen. So I think she's taking it reasonably well, but... Yeah, this is nuts. Let's go to the phones calling in on Skype. Destiny. Destiny, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, guys. What's happening? Long time listener, first time caller. How you doing? (laughs) Go ahead, Destiny. I asked you a question. Oh, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm glad to hear it. I was was on uh, Twitter earlier, and there was... uh, Caitlyn Jenner was trending, and I don't know if you heard the story, but she was... Uh, she was in a, a car accident. She killed somebody a, a while ago. Yeah, it's been a few few months. Yeah, before. Yeah, the, but then and they said they weren't going to charge her. They said they today she was trending because they weren't going to charge her with manslaughter. And I was glad that they weren't going to trend charge her with the manslaughter because, uh, you know, obviously she she should she's a as brave as a butterfly flying against the wind, and she should never have to go to prison. But I was also upset because they said I don't like the fact that they used the term manslaughter. <laughs> what do you think they should have called it? Well, it's triggering. It's triggering to me because they're not supposed to use. It, it just enforces a gender binary. <laughs> what if it was a man? Was it a man that she she killed? It doesn't matter because you know it's the same thing. Like there's a thing. Um, Person the, slaughter. You're not supposed to say. You're not supposed to say pregnant women anymore either because because it, pr- women are not the only ones who get pregnant now. Oh, that's right, because uh, because of the uh, gender versus uh, sex thing, um, a, a person who identifies as a man but was in the body of a woman could potentially become pregnant, right? Well, and that's exactly what it is. And it, but but you're saying in the body of a man, but it's not. It's not. It, that's not even what it is. It's 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 that the, the gender is is a social construct. They're just making it all up as they go along. And I don't understand why everybody takes this so seriously. If we have if gender is a social construct, then why do we have operations that uh, change genders? Why do they have sex, sex but, changes? But, but, they don't well, change genders. They change sex. sex. Oh, I'm now, sorry. This, now, I, I, the terminology. I'm still I'm still figuring oh, it all okay. out. Now let's consider what this all means. Um, for example, I I know exactly one transgender person, so my I know uh, a few. My actually, that's not true. I know two that I know of. Of course, there may be other transgender people that I know that I haven't noticed. Um, but the one person that I know, she has an XXY chromosome uh, arrangement, which isn't really supposed to happen. But it means that she's got all the genetic material to be a man and all the genetic material to be a woman. So sometimes things happen. You also get things like hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites are born with the sexual organs of both genders. Now, you can't say, oh, that's just in your head because they're hanging there. It could potentially be in your hand. if you. you They could be in your hand, but it's definitely not in their head. So obviously there can be errors in the creation of the reproductive system uh, during birth. Now, a a transgender woman or the transgender woman that I know, and she's heard me say this and said I did it relatively well, is born basically with the mind of a woman and the body of a man. So you've got a mismatch there, okay? But it, it sounds to me it sounds to me like you're saying that 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 men and women are, are genetically different, and that sounds racist. <laughs> well, men and women are genetically different. It One seems generally has Why an are you XY triggering me? That's not a, and it's the other totally generally... inappropriate and transphobic, and 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 you're triggering me. Well, as I, I understand that uh, even now on college campuses, that uh, the professors, which I would consider a bastion of uh, liberal thought, they're even saying that they're sick and tired of this triggering word. Uh, yeah. That, as a matter of fact, I'd like to ask you not to use that word anymore because the word it trigger, triggers, triggers me. me. 
<laughs> Jinx. You're not allowed. Same time. We're not allowed to be triggered. I'm the trigger. You're, 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 you're racist. You're the trigger man. <laughs> oh, good lord! This is the trigger man. <laughs> Destiny's hung up on us. That was a pretty good call. Yeah, I. Okay, now that's scary. Our destiny is to meet the trigger man. <laughs> <laughs> the the situation with uh, Caitlyn Jenner, I don't know that much about it other than there was an automobile accident and um, the, you know, that there was an accident and somebody was killed. Uh -huh. And uh, obviously this is terrible and that sort of thing. I don't think somebody needs to go to prison every time somebody dies in an automobile accident. I couldn't say. Now, right. if she was applying mascara while this happened, mm. perhaps an involuntary manslaughter charge might or be shaving. in order. Um, but I, I'm more interested, I would be more interested in that circumstance, um, really for her to make good to the family. I don't know what her fault is. You take a risk when you get into a car, but right. if her fault, if it's at, if she's at fault, then it's the, you know, her, her, her insurance company that need to make good. Well, if there was a question and I had a boatload of money, I would certainly make, sh make sure that the family got some of it. Your thoughts, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, oh, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock <laughs> was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. Want gold but also want to stay digital and decentralized on the Bitcoin blockchain? Anthem Vault, providing trusted, world-class vaulting, has your answer with Hayek Gold. Digital, spendable gold inspired by economist and free market philosopher F.A. Hayek. Each Hayek is worth one gram of gold and is available right now at AnthemVault.com. Sign up today at AnthemVault.com with promo code FREEDOM to earn six months of free storage and 5% off all margins for life. Hayek Gold at AnthemVault.com. Get yours today. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. 
This is your Robertson Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Wednesday, gold is $13 lower at $1,115 per ounce. Silver is down two cents at $14.63 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at 236 US dollars. This is a great time to buy on the dips. We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock. Give us a call at 800-874-9760 or visit us online at rrbi.co. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Seven three three. It's it's eight fifty five four fifty free. You can call in and talk about whatever you want, just like Destiny did just a moment ago to uh, discuss Caitlyn Jenner. I thought we had a female caller for a second. Then. <laughs> <laughs> whatever she did, she can't do it well. Yeah, that was I was doing my best with that joke. Yeah, right there. yeah, she can. But whatever she, she did, she well. can't well. I don't know. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Actually, talking about the story out of Texas of this coach. Uh, her name's Kerr, Coach Kerr. She was coaching a girls' basketball team, and uh, you know, nine-year-olds, third graders. This isn't. This shouldn't be that competitive, right? Everybody should be learning things like, I don't know, sportsmanship. Well, I get the impression that there's a uh, police captain um, in the audience who didn't really understand what sportsmanship meant. And he was heckling Coach Kerr from the, the background. I would have to say in general, if you want to learn about sportsmanship, stay as far away as you can from Little League. <laughs> Is but, that so? But uh, everything that I've heard about it and everything that I saw says it's basically adults showing parent, uh, parents showing children how to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the case. Uh, I've re recently been introduced to a, um, a concept for a graphic novel that I think is very interesting. It's called James versus the New World Order. And so I, well, I contacted them because I really... I think this is good. I think that bringing the ideas of liberty to people through fiction, um, through entertainment, is the best ways to, to, to spread the ideas. Because when they don't know they're being preached at, that's when they can really internalize them. There was a time in the Libertarian Party when people were brought on board basically by two, two ways. Either Ayn Rand, who basically preached at them, or through uh, Robert Heinlein, who you know, people didn't necessarily know they were getting preached to. People noticed it somewhat with Heinlein. There's, that is a criticism that I've heard of him. I loved the sermons, so yeah, I don't complain. It could be worse. Uh, it, it certainly wasn't, uh, you know, a forty-seven page monologue. It uh, wasn't <laughs> Randian level. Uh, <laughs> Rand is like the holy grail of preachy prose. Indeed. <laughs> well, James uh, versus New World Order is not going to be. So here's a little, uh, little teaser. What would you do when a bizarre cult army calling itself The Trust invades your sleepy little mountain hometown? We'll find out what James Contrell, a big-hearted country boy with a crappy job who's learned to live without dreams, does. Because sometimes the guy who's learned to live without dreams might be the best suited to handle a nightmare. Read the action comedy graphic novel James vs. the New World Order by Brandon Bitros and illustrated by J. Matthew Root, the first in what's estimated to be a five-volume, 24-issue series. So, if this intrigues you, go and pre-order now, James vs. the New World Order .com, because your pre-order makes it so that this happens uh, more readily, makes it easier. You contribute to their Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign. They're uh, ra trying to raise the $3,000 for the artwork, coloring, and production uh, straight away. Um, so that's James vs. the New World Order dot com. I like it. It's like a futures market for fiction. <laughs> that's what it's like. It's exactly like that. Yeah. So Coach Kerr. She not only does she end up, uh, you know, nose to nose with this uh, police captain, uh, what he claims she did, she, she disputes this story. But, 
even if this is what the case, uh, even as the, the case may be, I don't think there's anything illegal for a coach to turn around and call a heckler uh, a Richard. Uh, because what she called him, I'm not going to say on the radio, but it's short for Richard. And rhymes duck. Yeah, right. It rhymes with a duck. <laughs> so um, I don't. I think that a coach can probably legally call somebody a duck without a problem. It and, seems like that would be First Amendment covered speech. And she's not charged with that. She's, Especially when that person is a police officer, because you cannot disturb the peace of a police officer. Well, the argument they would, have no peace. The, the argument would be in that case that uh, he, she didn't know he was a police officer and he was in civilian clothes. However, she's only charged with fleeing uh, a police officer so like resist it's one of these like resisting arrest charges yeah, when they don't tell you what false you, arrests they I, I don't think they should ever be able to, to charge you with simply resisting arrest mm-hmm. if you are resisting an unlawful arrest then all you're doing is fleeing a kidnapping exactly and at that point i mean you can do anything to a kidnapper a kidnapper mm-hmm. is a felon mm-hmm. and you're allowed to do whatever you want to a felon. Well, if you tried you're to kidnap me, you're in the me, commission of a felony. Yes. I mean, we're both felons, and you can't just. Right, you can't well, just. Well, right. I mean, it's not like KPD would do anything if we got <laughs> shot, but. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, in this case, uh, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that if it's commission of a felony, right? Yes. So if, um, if, if somebody's trying to grab you, you can shoot them. Mm-hmm. So she could have shot this guy in the face if. The you know if if he was committing a, a, a kidnapping, well, if he's not committing a kidnapping, where's the other charge? Right. This is a broken system, and it's broken all the way through. This simply illustrates it. This is your average gal who's never been in trouble with the law. She just wants to coach nine year old girls uh, in sports. She does basketball. She does softball. She does uh, soccer. She's a busy coach gal. And for her to be treated this way by a police officer shows just how far off the rails the American justice system has gone. Because yeah. this isn't a system. This is just people. And that he's had to so much excuse. And we focus on the one bad cop. We call him, oh, he's the bad cop. He's the corrupt one. Well, what about the prosecutor? Wasn't he corrupt? Yes. What about every police officer who was in any way involved with this? What about the school that issued the trespass order? Each and every one of those people should be held accountable at least by losing their job. Well, the school um, claims that it was not involved in the issuing of the trespass order. It's just that their who name was used. could issue one? The police could just say, hey, uh, there's a trespass order, right? Like if the ca- captain gave an illegal order oh, to so his... Oh, so he might have been lying about... Yes. The, because the owner of a property has to issue a trespass order. I don't believe that police are permitted to issue them sous patine. Yes, that, uh, that is absolutely correct. But that's what it appears as though uh, was done. And what you need to understand is if a police officer, or in this case a captain, a police captain can get away with something. Because many times uh, I think that there's an argument here that... Um, that this wouldn't have happened if it was simply an officer, that it had to be a captain to get away with all the crap that he got away with. So let's just use... I don't know. Those officers of the year get away with murder. <laughs> let's just go ahead and say, uh, you know, a command-level officer, lieutenant mm-hmm. captains um, on up. And now if, if a police captain can get away with this, then in all likelihood, a good percentage of police captains can get away with this. Maybe mm-hmm. even most police captains can get away with this. Now, I'm not going to say all police captains can get away with it, but I'm willing to bet that there's a certain amount of quid pro quo going on between the prosecutor's office and the police department, and that it is going to take a great deal of pressure, maybe even more pressure than uh, CBS 11 in Dallas can muster. Because mm-hmm. this is a, that's a lot of pressure to be able to do, you know, bring up a, a corrupt captain on charges. Obviously, the prosecutor's office isn't that interested, but this mm-hmm. would would be a great opportunity for a prosecutor who wants to make a name for themselves as a law and order justice type mm-hmm. to to you know to, to take this captain up. Now it doesn't look like that's going to happen because oftentimes those that claim to be law and order really are team players, right? They're like mm-hmm. us versus them. We're on the blue team. They're the bad guys. We're after the bad guys, not after the good guys. Right. And anybody who disagrees with us in any way is a bad guy. And that prosecutor, whoever they might be, is going to have a difficult time 
dealing with the police department after that. Because mm-hmm. this captain's got friends. His cap- the other captains are his friends, the lieutenants, the uh, underlings, those folks. Suddenly, this, is gonna, this, this prosecutor is going to be persona non grata. Mm-hmm. I'd love to hear some solutions for how to uh, you know, make it so that this system isn't so corrupt. This, to me, is indicative of what goes on in the judicial system in the United States. Notice I don't mm-hmm. say justice system. The legal yeah. system? Let's call it the legal system. Uh, I like the just us system. <laughs> Your thoughts, please. Tell me what we can do to fix this problem. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Or you can call us on Skype, as Destiny did uh, recently. Uh, our username is LRN. Dot .fm on Skype and it you know the calls do sound better when they when they come in there if you uh, had a chance to hear destiny um, with the part when she before she was triggered um, it sounded great <laughs> so it's lrn.fm on Skype or 855 450 free that's 855-450-3733 on all well, the regular old telephone lines free talk live Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road underground market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, September 30th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.60 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,120 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $238. Antiwar.com reports on Sunday, Saudi Arabia was struggling to get its story on a helicopter attack in northern Yemen Strait. Attack helicopters came across the Saudi border into a Shiite town, killing 30 civilians. Though the Saudis initially touted the incident as killing rebels, they later denied it ever happened. On Monday, their attention turned south with Saudi warplanes launching a series of airstrikes against a wedding party in Mocha, killing another 131 civilians in one of the single deadliest incidents of the entire war and leading to a flurry of international condemnation. Saudi officials figured out by Tuesday this huge toll was a problem and followed the well-tested strategy of simply claiming it didn't happen. But the reality is, with the massive civilian killings by Saudi aircraft a near daily occurrence, the denials are less credible than ever and claims by the Saudi foreign ministry of their care and avoiding civilian deaths rings insultingly hollow. While the U.S. backing for the Saudi war has kept criticism to a minimum so far, the patience is wearing thin 
then as the war drags on and the atrocities mount, even UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon loathes to point the finger at anybody conceded on Monday that while both sides in Yemen are guilty of targeting civilians, the Saudi airstrikes are causing many more casualties. Direct US involvement in the war also risks making this huge civilian toll America's problem with Representative Ted Lieu in California, a former Air Force judge, advocate general, pressing General Joseph Dunford on whether the Pentagon is keeping track of the civilian toll in airstrikes they are facilitating, adding that at this point it's clear that the Saudi-led coalition is either grossly negligent or intentionally targeting civilians. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Cecil Richards, Planned Parenthood president, disputed claims the organization sells fetal tissue at a House committee hearing on Tuesday. Republicans on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee are seeking to bar Planned Parenthood from obtaining federal funds, largely on the pretext of videos purported to show officials of the health organization attempting to sell fetal tissue. In a prepared remark, Richards said the latest smear campaign is based on efforts by our opponents to entrap our doctors and clinicians into breaking the law, and once again, our opponents have failed. Richard said the videos were deceptively edited, released by a group that is dedicated to making abortion illegal, adding that Planned Parenthood only sells a small amount of fetal tissue and recovers only reasonable expenses within the law. She noted the majority of the group's federal funding comes through Medicare reimbursements and other payments for birth control and cancer screening services, and that no federal funding is directed to abortion services. The Republican push to block the funding comes as a stopgap spending bill to keep the government operating past Thursday is under consideration. ExpressCoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and more. ExpressCoin prides themselves on their customer service, so much so that the back end on the website should allow them to be even more focused on your needs. Get started at expresscoin.fppradio.com. Reuters reports Georgia's parole board denied a request for clemency by the lone woman on the state's death row just hours before her scheduled execution on Tuesday for her role in her husband's murder. The state's Board of Pardons and Parole met Tuesday to decide whether its refusal earlier this year to commute the sentence of Kelly Gissendander's sentence to life in prison should stand. Board members were not swayed by the inmate's latest appeal for clemency, which emphasized her model behavior in prison and remorse for plotting her husband's murder in 1997. They also did not appear moved by a letter sent by an archbishop on behalf of Pope Francis urging them to commute the inmate's death sentence. Several last-minute appeals to the U.S. Supreme Court and Georgia Supreme Court were denied. Gesson Daner was executed at 12.21 a.m. on Wednesday. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The victims of a devastating tornado expressed gratitude that The Onion's three-part series on the disaster was reported with fairness, accuracy, and an unusual degree of sensitivity. Survivors said they were at least thankful for one thing, that The Onion put much more care and insight into their reporting of the tragedy than any competing newspaper, by far. In economic news, a Pulitzer Prize would very much help certain newspapers increase their circulation, resulting in greater ad sales and more revenue to pay their tireless, hardworking reporters, all of whom have families at home to care for. In other headlines, a group known as Americans for Fairness in awarding journalism prizes is asking all Americans to help The Onion receive a Pulitzer Prize. An anonymous man says he will murder 50 innocent people if The Onion is not awarded a Pulitzer. And look at it, it's beautiful. Look, just give us a Pulitzer already, okay? This is humiliating. For more prize-worthy stories and videos, go to theonion.com slash review. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Rich Paul. Rich Paul, I didn't quite hear you there, sorry. 
and Rich Fall. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to turn up the microphone there. 855 450 3733. You can call in and, uh, well, you can talk about whatever you want here on Free Talk Live. We, uh, we open the phone lines for you to do just that. In the last hour, we spoke about um, not only Caitlyn Jenner's uh, automobile accident, but uh, also um, a situation with a coach who in Texas was arrested for calling a police captain um, a Richard or something like, like a Richard. So you can a call duck. Him a duck. Yes, indeed, a duck. <laughs> Let's go to... Richard objects to that characterization. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Sam. <laughs> Calling in from Des Moines. Sam, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, how are you? Hello? Hello, Sam? Uh, yes, uh, Sam is speaking, yes. Okay, what's on your mind? How are you? All's well. Uh, uh, yes, I, I uh, listen to you every, almost every day uh, with your program, Free Talk Show. I like your program. I like the subject, what you talk about. And I believe last week uh, we, we talked about um, humankind history in, in Bible. Uh, what I found uh, for more research about human history in Bible is estimated uh, 6,000 to 8,000 years old. That the and, world uh, is 6,000 to 8,000 years old, old, that kind of thing? Yes. Okay. Yes, all the world. Yes, yeah, yeah. from what you call Adam and Eve to this moment is about 8,000 years old. I believe this is called the New Earth Theory. Yes. Uh and this not match what uh, all uh, geology uh, team found, like human remains. And last month, I found in CNN news about uh, the, a team in South Africa. They found human remains uh, called Homo nelidi, and estimated um, like uh, two million years old because uh, the, the, the unique for this discovery, the skull for human skeleton is the third of the normal human skull. Yeah. I think I saw that story, too. So, yes. So my point is, the science says something, Bible says something. I am uh, I am uh, like to go to the trend of uh, science and the discovery, because this most accurate. And, uh, and indeed, they found over 15 skeleton in, in this discovery in South Africa, uh, last month was when was the CNN news. Now, when I um, I used to be a Christian, and uh, the way that they addressed this in uh, the church was they'd say things like, "Well, the scientists don't the carbon dating method and the, the methods they use for dating uh, things. They don't know how old stuff is, and so they would uh, you know sort of dance around it. Some of them have come so far as to say that the the myths of dragons in Europe were in fact those were the, that's where the dinosaurs were. Um, that humans and dinosaurs <laughs> lived alongside each other, and that that's how you got these uh, stories of dragons and these sorts of things. So. I, this is one of those situations where I guess somebody's faith is going to blind them or, excuse me, make it difficult for them to hear that, um, you know, what, what we're saying as far as uh, science and that sort of thing. Yes, well, Charles, I would like start. to add something. Hello? Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, I, I'd like to add one thing. There was a most sophisticated method about the atom carbon to, de to detect the age of this item. They also use some items we already know from regular history, from recent, from recent history. So we know this, uh, the age of this item, of this skeleton. They use it as an experimental uh, to get accurate the result. So when they reach something in all this, all this uh, item, they can estimate it. They use the same methods, uh, uh, carbon atom, called carbon atom, to detect the age. So if they use this, this for too many items, uh, some item we know the age is item, and some item is very old, we can determine or we can assume how old this item. So they use this one technique for all items, regardless how old this item may be, 100 years, maybe 500, maybe 1,000, maybe 5,000 years. It's a variety of age of item. It's not just all this item only. Yeah, I've I've definitely come to the conclusion that uh, the scientists have been working for the, with these methods for decades. Uh, probably know best uh, as to how they work um, and you know whether they're right or not. 
I, I also know that it's going to be completely unconvincing to somebody who um, decides to dismiss it based on, I don't know, Satan's tricking the scientists or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. that's, well, uh, the great thing about faith is, you know, the more people try to poke holes in it, the more you just have to have faith. You so double down on if it. If you yeah. have faith in the, in the face of no evidence, that's that's hardly a merit badge but if you can have faith in in the face of overwhelming evidence well that's impressive I'll tell you what I find interesting Sam is modern man um, you know people like you and I has uh, existed for somewhere between 20,000 um, and 200,000 years if we take the outside at 200,000 years and we realize the agrarian revolution went on 10,000 years ago um, this is this is the scientist numbers. That means for 190,000 years, 19 times longer than we've been living in one place and growing crops, we were wandering around, you know, picking bugs out of yak poop or whatever it was that we were doing in order to eat um, and, you know, survive. And I just find it so fascinating that people didn't hunker down and create uh, agriculture before that, that 19 times from, you know, the moment that somebody decided that we're going to live in one place till now that, uh, you know, we were wandering around. Apparently they didn't have wives and, uh, like the women uh, I've dated in the past because these gals want me to get my butt out and go to work and get some stuff done. Right. And their wives must have been completely different. Well, they didn't get to see what the neighbors had. <laughs> they had just as much as the neighbors. Is exactly. That what, it is? what do you think about that, Sam? Uh, one thing uh, also, uh, I am uh, have some uh, science, biology, science background. I like to say one thing: never, and it's impossible, impossible, one hundred percent. All humankind in all six continents, like Africa, Asia, North America, South America, and Australia, and Europe will come from one male and one female, or even called Adam or Eve, or even after the flooding, uh, after the Noah family. It's impossible, impossible, one person have all this gene code for all variety of humankind, uh, human races, or all different ethnic group. So the truth is, we are come from ancestors from all different parts, and there's too many Adam and Eve. It means is too many males, too many females. They created all world population. I give you one example to easy to understand. If you look at the dog breeds, we have over 400 dog pure breeds in the world, and all dog breed they come from different parts of the world. Oh yeah, uh, small dog, big dog. It's impossible to come from one dog, one male, and one female because there is not impossible as a science. They have one code gene for all this kind of breed. This example for dogs. What about human? It's the same. Impossible one human, one male, and one female have all variation of genetic code for one person. Thanks for the call, James. Sam, I appreciate it. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. I saw really um, what I consider to be a poignant uh, meme on Facebook. It says, "When Noah's Ark finally rested atop Mount Ararat, the kangaroos stepped <laughs> off and hopped seven thousand seven hundred and twenty-six miles straight to Australia. And without any opposable thumbs, they picked up every bone from their own dead, so as not to leave a trace of their migration. Isn't that remarkable? It." is it's you know for of all the stories in the bible i i consider this the stories in the bible to be sort of explanations mm. uh, primitive man's explanation bronze age man's explanations for how the world got to be where it, the way it is mm. and that's fine you, know, you can learn what you want to learn from them i learn things from stories all the time we learn things from stories at the church of the invisible hand we just made darwin a prophet Eight five five four five zero three seven three three or LRN FM on Skype. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live. Does this ever happen to you? You're applying for some type of a loan, whether online or in person. When it's time to hit submit, your nerves spike because you're not sure you'll get the approval you seek. There's a different way to approach life. It's called Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is a revolutionized step-by-step system that you can follow to get all the credit you desire today. 
We're talking about secured and unsecured credit, car leases, credit cards, and cash. Call 800-568-8960. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works no matter what your current situation, whether you've had bad credit, never had credit, or looking for some business credit, or any type of credit. Please call 800-568-8960. We don't take any personal information. Your personal information is way too valuable to trust to a third-party email or a website that doesn't answer the phone. At Credit Success Secrets Revealed, we show you step-by-step what to place into the financial computer systems that control your credibility in the marketplace today. We practically fill out the forms for you. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works 100% of the time. Call now, 800-568-8960. That's 800-568-8960. 800-568-8960. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch. It. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 My TV. 1 855 905 My TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 My TV. 1 855 905 My TV. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit strategicshelters.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's 855-450 free. It's Mark with you. And Rich Paul. Yeah, we had, uh, in the first hour, we talked about this uh, Coach Kerr gal that uh, got in trouble for, well, uh, supposedly calling a police captain who was in plain clothes, uh, who was heckling her from a, uh, in a gym uh, during a girls' basketball game, nine-year-old girls' basketball game, um, calling him a, uh, a Richard or a duck. A duck. Yeah, whatever you 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 figure it out. If you're an adult, you can figure it out, and if you if you can't figure it out, you weren't meant to figure it out. But uh, I did get a um, an update on this, and uh, from.
from photography is not a crime. Apparently, the charges have been dropped. Um, but at this point, we don't know anything about any charges being brought against the uh, police captain because he lied mm. and said that she resisted arrest and fled from the scene and a whole variety of things, had her thrown in jail, just a whole bunch of stuff, mm. and abused his power, from what I can tell. And th- this guy needs a day in court, as far as I'm concerned. You don't want people running around abusing their power like that. Absolutely. So, let's. Uh, I just wanted to give an update because somebody had, uh, had had given it to me. But no word on a monetary settlement or charges being brought against she ought the to sue, doc in she, question. She ought to sue, but mm-hmm. you know, if if you don't if you don't look at the police as police departments as threats, you might mm-hmm. just say, "Well, this guy got out of hand, and it's best for my community if I just let it go." She's a coach on a ba- bas- girls basketball, See, I girls don't... Uh, soccer, and softball. She's the kind of lady who would be concerned with her community. See, I don't understand that thinking because what that's saying is this best of my, it's best if for my community if this lunatic be left with a badge and a gun so that the next time he has a petty dispute with somebody he can abuse the full force of the law against that person. So I would say that this person, if she does fail to bring uh, charges and a civil suit, she is failing her community, and she is failing to take an opportunity to protect them from a real and present danger. I hope somebody gets a hold of her and uh, gives her that point of view, but uh, it's hard to say what's going to happen. I'll try I've, and find her number. <laughs> I've, ser- I've seen plenty, of, uh, I've seen plenty of, of great cases just be left laying there because, well, somebody didn't want to pursue it for whatever reason. No. I was really disappointed when Cassidy got arrested for being topless on the uh, town common. She, the Cassidy's original a plan, mover for the Free State Project. We're up here in New Hampshire, all, all of us movers for the Free State mm-hmm. Project. And she got arrested for being topless on the, co- on the common, which is actually legal behavior. They dropped the charges against her immediately, but the plan was that she was going to sue. Unfortunately, that didn't work out because about that time, she thought she was pregnant. She was afraid the state was going to come after her child or, uh, you know, try to try to tear apart her family as a, as a response, which is kind of scary that that's a realistic possibility. Yeah, I, if I, you I do understand the right what thing. her concern is. It's yeah, a, it's a legit concern. Um, there's another story I've got uh, here sitting in the uh, in my my folder here. It's and this is from a website that's happy about it from onegreenplanet.org. Latrice Harrison writing, "Big news for the Netherlands this week as they become the 10th country to officially ban the use of wild animals in the circus." Mm. The ban, which was drafted back in 2014, went into effect this week and includes big cats Elephants, giraffes, zebras, sea lions, and primates. If you train a wild animal, doesn't it become a tame animal? This was the question that uh, immediately popped into my mind. Because when they said wild animals, I wasn't sure what they meant. Does this mean an animal that was caught out in the wild and then uh, brought in and taught to do circus tricks? Because I can see how someone might uh, find that objectionable. I think that it over romanticizes the, the the freedom that one finds in the forest uh, you know there's uh zebra lives matter zebra lives matter yeah. the deer in the woods behind my house never come down to my house unless it's late february or early march and they have nothing left to browse where they are so that's when they'll start coming down and you know, I've got an old apple tree that uh, this year I'm picking up all the apples. I don't want any to fall on the ground, but they've got good noses. They can smell that stuff. They go, they dig up the old apples. Um, you know, they they destroy my orchard. My orchard was, you know, one one tree was killed last year, um, and uh, several I didn't think I was going to get back. Tree slaughter. Yeah, it was, and. <laughs> You know, I'm this year. I'm going to have a new plan for keeping them away. Last year's plan didn't work particularly well, but it. Uh, what was last year's plan? Oh God, you had to ask. I knew I shouldn't have said. <laughs> um, well, I had heard that uh, that uh, predator urine uh, would manage to drive them away, and the only predator I had handy was me. Um, and so I was uh, saving uh, the stuff up in jars and uh, going out and uh, dumping it out in uh, the woods. See, this is sounding like a piss poor solution. <laughs> <laughs> 
It didn't work. <laughs> okay. They just walked then, I, right. then it's confirmed. They just walked right past this stuff. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> nonetheless, that's what was occurring. So um, this year I'm hoping to save the trees. I'm going to put up, uh, I have a solar-powered electric uh, fence thing that I'm going to put up over there. And um, it was the one that I used to use for my pigs. I've now upgraded to one that's really convincing, right? Like this one delivers a shock. It'll make you grit your teeth. And Velcro so, gloves, <laughs> electric fences, high voltage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put that around there and then uh, let them uh, decide what they're going to do about it. But uh, nonetheless, w- I, these animals are coming down because they're hung- they're starving to death. They're bringing you know their babies or whatever. They're starving to death. And that's why they're coming down anywhere near the house. And th- I don't think there's much to romanticize about living in the wild. Mm. Not to say that I think that somebody should be snatched up from their life and, uh, you know, fed and, and kept in comfort if that's what, not what they want to do. So I was concerned. But an they, animal is not somebody is something. I think that the animals uh, have sort of a descending set of rights, and I'm not entirely sure what they might be. So, for instance, um, if we're talking about, say, a chimpanzee, mm-hmm. um, I'm interested in if a chimpanzee, for me, I, I draw different distinctions based on the animal, um, based on the type of animal. So if a chimpanzee can recognize itself in the mirror, uh, choose to smoke cigarettes and a variety of things, they act, and we have to acknowledge that there are stupid people in the world too, right? Mm -hmm. If there are smart chimpanzees and stupid people, is there a chimpanzee that's as smart as the stupidest person that you would grant rights to? Um, Well, I mean, I don't know about stupid, but there's certainly congenital defects that can incur in people that will leave them no smarter than a chimpanzee. Yeah, I would think that that's the case. I mean, there are certainly humans who are capable of less and born that way. I'm just using uh, frank language to uh, describe what I mean. Um, And so if uh, if a chimpanzee, if a human who is... You know, say no better at cognition than a chimpanzee, um, than your average chimpanzee gets rights. Then why doesn't your average chimpanzee get get rights? Would be the question that I would ask. However, um, I, I think that all these these things get very interesting. Like, I, I'm going to talk about chimpanzees here in a second. You've got me completely derailed, but this is a great topic, and I love it. Do you think that chimps think that people have rights? <laughs> I don't know. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. What are your thoughts on animal rights? Eight fifty five four fifty free. Free talk live. The human body is more than sixty percent water. Your brain and muscles are seventy five percent water and your blood is 92% water. Water's vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an a by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. 
Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. The Netherlands has banned the use of wild animals in circuses. Now, this is kind of big news. I mean, circuses are pretty ubiquitous and have been for some some time in human history. And I think that this is uh, this is a pretty big deal, banning uh, the use of wild animals in circuses. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it here in, in just a second, but I want to tell you about how you can this is this this news will change your life if you haven't heard this already you need to listen because you can now save 15 to 25 30 percent on every item that you would buy at amazon.com and you know as well as i do you can buy just about everything you need to live at amazon.com so therefore i'm essentially giving you a big giant raise um, in your standard of living if you're willing to take the steps to cash in on it you go to save at purse.com you sign up for an account now you got to use bitcoin that's the catch here you use bitcoin to to purchase the things you need and you can save an incredible amount of money simply by going to save at purse.com yeah going there is gonna um, help us if you sign up there to get a, an account we get a small tiny commission on your purchases but once you have created that account as a referral from us, we get a tiny, tiny percentage all along, and so it's great for us. And I think that people should be using this uh, to make – this is what do, we're doing at my house. Is we're purchasing as much as we possibly can. Save at purse.com. Is that an email address? What's that? Save at purse.com. Oh, yeah, that sounds what it sounds like, doesn't it? It really does. With an at sign in it, it cannot be a URL. Yeah, that's weird. I, we hadn't even considered that. That has to be an email address. No, it's not an email address. It's the AT. It's not an at sign. It's not an ampersand. Oh, 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 okay. So it's save. Saveatpurse.com. Oh, okay. Mm, well. Well, I'm glad I heard it instead of reading it. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, you know, we're, we might have to figure something out with that uh, URL. Saveatpurse.com. Let's go directly to uh, Rich. We're going to talk about animal rights here. I've got uh, some interesting uh, thoughts uh, to share with you. But uh, Libertarian Banker is calling in, so let's go to the, the phone. Libertarian Banker calling in from, well, he would rather not say. Libertarian Banker. Hey, guys. How's it, how's it going tonight? All's well. What's on your mind? Good, good. Hey, I want to talk real quick about crony capitalism. And um, Can you define that for the, me? The event- Sure. So basically, uh, uh, 
you know, businessmen uh, getting together with politicians and creating policies that benefit them. So um, the example that I wanted to bring up was a local example around here uh, is they, the city levied a uh, sort of amenities or hotel tax on some of the local uh, hotels in the area. And then they saved up that money over time and actually used the money to incentivize another hotel to come into the city. Oh, man. So the, guy, the same guys who were paying this tax into the system then got screwed by it when the politicians spent the money on one of their competitors. Wow. So, um, so that's kind of what they get for, uh, for getting all cozy with the politicians. Another thing I want to bring up as far as crony capitalism is concerned are tax credits. I have never seen a bigger sham in my life than a tax credit. I'll it's take a tax credit anytime a, I can get it. Sure, but um, but you can't sell your tax credits like the corporate uh, corporate guys can. Oh, so sell them? a lot of these uh, real estate deals, uh, they'll the federal government will define certain areas in a city as blighted or as uh, you know low income, and will use tax credits to incentivize redevelopment in that area. So they'll uh, you know offer a hundred thousand dollar tax credit to fix up this thing. And, and and actually, these credits are transferable. So what you have is you'll have companies that will pop up, and literally all they do is buy and sell tax credits. They Man. buy low and they sell high. And what, they make talk about the creation of an industry that has no reason for being. Mm. Absolutely, and 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 so you know this this uh, example could blow up in their face. I mean, when you look at the medallion taxi system in New York City. And uh, how these, uh, you know, taxi cabs got so cozy with the government, and then Uber came in and wrecked their business model, and, and they totally cried foul. And, and the same thing is going to happen with uh, with all this other crony capitalism going on. Somebody's going to come up with a better way to serve the marketplace, and it's going to absolutely destroy these existing businesses. Well, that's what you hope for. Is uh, this is the creative destruction that uh, that the capitalism promises, or uh, the free market, or whatever? Is that at some point or another, the uh, you know the horses are replaced by cars, and the candlesticks are replaced by light bulbs, and you know things get better. The incandescent light bulbs replaced by the LED light bulb, not with the government's help, but you know it it maybe it's a better technology, maybe it's not. The the marketplace has to decide. Absolutely. And when you let uh, free people trade freely, it's amazing what type of innovation uh, you can come up with instead of relying on this old governmental system of, of uh, you know, tax and spend. What would so, you say to somebody I, who just doesn't trust capitalism? They've heard the word. They know it's a bad word. Um, that doesn't trust the free market. The free market has brought us so many terrible things that the corporations benefit from. What do you say to those people? Well, I, I, you know, usually most of the time the people that say that kind of thing are the same kind of people that, um, you know, claim to be pacifists or nonviolent or, or you know, kind of uh, hippies for lack of a better word. But I would maybe try to appeal to that, that side of them that, um, you know, government by its very nature is force. And when you uh, have the rich and powerful corporations that can buddy buddy up with the guy with the gun – then they're certainly going to take advantage of that. And if you just get rid of the guy with the gun, then there's nobody to get buddy-buddy with, and nobody will force anybody to do anything. And um, so maybe that's, I guess, how I would approach it. Appreciate it. You cannot yeah, impoverish a, new, a, a nation without a large police state because eventually people will just go out in the street and riot. And if you can't keep that under control, then whatever your defective system was will just crumble. Seems like we're a long way from the rioting in the streets. I mean, I just saw, I, I think it was Belgium and France, the farmers were driving uh, tractors into the city in order to jam up the traffic and everything to uh, complain about low food prices, um, dry, to try to drive food prices up. In Europe, the, they'll protest over plenty of things, oh, yeah. but usually wanting more government in their lives. But Americans, man, they just don't get out and protest over anything, it seems to me. Yeah, low food prices to me is the most insane complaint in the world. Now, obviously, I farmer. understand. <laughs> uh, I understand how farmers complain about it because if food prices go too low, then some of those farmers have to either go out of business or find another crop. Mm -hmm. But that's how the market fixes the problem of low food prices. Fewer people produce food. People find something else 
uh, to do with their time. But, I mean, people, uh, the, the New Deal, one of the most insane periods in American history, they were act- there were hungry people all over the country, and they were burning crops. They were destroying food. The government was doing this to raise the price of food. High prices are never good. Low prices are good. Yeah, I remember um, my mother uh, wa- would tell me stories about uh, you know how bums would come to the door um, and that sort of thing, and they'd always have food for them. Mm-hmm. And, well, you know that's what you had to do in those circumstances. Um, yeah, going on with the story here, Netherlands bans wild animals in the circus. And this kind of brought up a conversation between you and I, uh, Rich, uh, about animals' rights and those kind of things. And uh, Now, I think that a chimpanzee could potentially be as uh, smart as a, uh, as a human being, or at least uh, you know, like one human being. If you think about, say, the bottom 1% of uh, human intelligence out there, that the top 1% of chimpanzees um, may be a match or even smarter than uh, those humans. Obviously, they don't have the ability to speak like we do, but they can talk through sometimes machines or sign language or a variety of things that uh, make it so they can speak. And I guess there's a case where um, right now going an animal rights, non-human person's rights uh, case that's going through New York right now of a couple of chimpanzees that are being held in one case a... uh, I believe a scientific situation. Another one is like just a, a mobile home uh, manufacturer has a chimpanzee there. And I want it, It's a difficult situation. 855-450-3733, Free Talk Live. Currency is too important a thing to be left in the hands of government bureaucrats, especially when billions of dollars can be created with the swipe of a pen. Overstock.com supports the cryptocurrency movement because it returns the power of an inflation-proof form of money to the people where it belongs. Did you know that you can use Bitcoin to pay for anything Overstock.com sells while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more? If you support freedom and the cryptocurrency movement, you should support Overstock.com. Before girls' night out, my eczema flared up. Ugh, I felt like canceling. But then I tried Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. It's specially formulated for eczema and has 1% hydrocortisone, the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. It quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red, dry, flaky skin. With Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief, I was ready for girls' night out, and it was the best one ever. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. Use as directed. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. If you're looking for work, or even if you're not, here's an innocent mistake you really want to avoid. Never return calls before listening to your voicemail. Your wireless phone sends calls you didn't answer into voicemail, and it shows you phone numbers for calls you missed. Important, don't call back callers you missed until you have first listened to your messages. Otherwise, you frustrate people who bothered to leave messages by asking them to repeat a message they just left as your voicemail greeting instructed them to. If you're a job applicant, this alone could be a deal killer. And even if you're not, there are few things you can convey to someone that are as fundamentally maddening as, I didn't hear you. With money and attention so scarce now. Effective communication skills have never been more important. For more tips for job seekers and everyone else, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. If you want to play online poker with Bitcoin, you need a site that's trustworthy and technically sound. The site managers of SWCPoker.eu have proven their commitment to bringing you great gameplay from a site you can trust, SWCPoker.eu. They have lots of new games too, including Chinese poker, and their Krill leaderboard is open right now. It's a beautiful site, easy to use with lots of players. Go on over to SWCPoker.eu now and have some fun with your Bitcoin, SWCPoker.eu. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm It's Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-3733. It's 855 855- 450 free. You can give us a call and talk about whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Rich Paul. So, Rich, there is um, a situation uh, that's going on here. It's uh, it, There's a, a chimp, and there's several chimps that they've, they're filing these cases on, but a chimp named Kiko. Now, Kiko is owned by a couple, I believe, in upstate New York. I could be wrong on that. But um, Kiko lives in a cage and doesn't have other chimps around him. Now, the Non-Human Rights Project has filed uh, some kind of writ of habeas corpus um, that's recently been denied, and I'll tell you why, uh, to get Kiko freed from Kiko's prison. Now, we don't know if whether Can Kiko- I give you a guess why, and you can tell me if it's right? Sure, go ahead. Because he's not being held by the state, and a writ of habeas corpus is for release of a prisoner. I'm not entirely sure um, whether there's any sort of uh, historical justification for using it, um, you know, when it's not against the state. But in this case, they're saying that th- since he's not being at the, the really the crux of this is if the Kiko has the right to freedom of volition, like you and I do, we shouldn't mm-hmm. be held unless we've uh, committed some kind of crime. Um, if Kiko has that same right, then Kiko should be released immediately. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but an adult male chimpanzee is a horrifying, terrible creature. Um, they can, according to Jane Goodall, p- pick up a uh, Volkswagen, the old, the old Volkswagens. I saw this in uh, you know some documentary some time ago. Pick it up with one hand over their head. Imagine how I mean this creature could literally pull your arm off and beat you over the head, beat you to death with it. Well, that's why I've never understood the whole phrase, more fun than a barrel of monkeys, because imagine (laughs) a whole barrel full of those things. What would they do to you? Because they're going to be grumpy when they get out of the barrel. (laughs) (laughs) So Kiko uh, would be a terrible thing to release um, on uh, the world at large. So the the notion that Kiko has rights comes into direct, uh, you know, Uh, conflict with the application of Kiko getting rights. Well, and that to me comes down to the crux of animal rights is are there equal and opposite animal responsibilities? I have a right not to have force initiated against me. And my quid pro quo for that right is that I don't initiate force against anybody else. Um, and I don't believe that that necessarily the moral reasoning of a uh, of a chimpanzee is sufficient to allow him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to be a peaceful denizen of wherever it is that he lives. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. Uh, let's take it to the level of a lion. Do you want a lion running loose in the streets of New York City? I certainly don't. So. Um, And it's actually very much in line with what people do in that if a person has a tendency to initiate force, then they don't let that person out on the streets either. And that's Um, if there is a culture, a group of people who, um, you know, 
we we understood as humans to simply not understand our rule about initiating force in public right like there's mm-hmm. certainly people like this have existed right there's warlike cultures out there that uh, have existed in the past and you know they didn't get along well with their neighbors and ultimately they ran up on another more warlike culture and uh, that warlike culture crushed them true and you that might be a problem if there's a whole culture but one one person from this culture walking around new york city is going to either be subdued by bystanders the first time or a second time or a third time he tries to do violence. Yep. Um, but, you know, if his culture forms a majority and and uh, you're in it, then your experience with this guy might be very different. Humans are smart enough, even if they don't believe in a rule, to sometimes ob- obey it for their own uh, benefit Absolutely. and safety, but you're still talking about in, uh, enculturation. Um, the so if a chimpanzee was say raised from birth, and this happens, raised from birth with humans, and um, you know constantly taught not to initiate force, then likely that chimpanzee would really sort of understand. If the chimpanzee was say fitted with clothes and sort of wandered about, um, you know, not bothering people, then it'd be like. What an interesting thing I just saw walking by. But you probably, if a chimpanzee acted like a person, he would probably be treated like one. Uh, yeah, and and I would say so. The other thing is there are just things you don't want monkeys walking around your the town chimpanzee's doing. Chimpanzee's an ape, mister. You and your, you and your primate privilege... Uh, 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 let me check my check my primate privilege. <laughs> Let's go to Mike and Clackamas, Oregon. <laughs> Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, how you doing today? Absolutely capital, sir. What's on your mind? So, well, I had a question concerning something that was my dad was telling me about. I believe it happened back in the 90s when, uh, I could be mistaken here, but the federal government wanted to try to break up Microsoft because it was becoming a monopoly. And again, I could be wrong on this, but what happens when you have a company such as Apple or Microsoft or Microsoft and it's one company and they're they are the only um, they are the only company providing computer services and computer goods and there is no government but they are a monopoly because they let's say somebody tries to come into the market and essentially tries to start up their own business. And they send their crew over and says, no, you're not starting your business. We're going to buy, you, buy pretty much offer you a bribe to kind of force you out of there. What happens when a company becomes so big without government that they dominate the market and they don't allow um, competition to come in without the force of government but by their own force? First off, I'd say that I don't advocate for anything that doesn't have to do with uh, – that you know that says that there would be a world without government. What I would say is, is that government should be provided by the marketplace and it should be uh, voluntary. Um, but, Rich, do you want to feel this as far as monopolies? Um, yeah. Well, the first thing that I would say is in most cases, okay, computer software is is – kind of a kind of a special case but in most cases a monopoly is completely unstable and all of the things that people think they could do to defend against or to keep a monopoly going can be easily defended against. I had an argument with a University of Michigan chemical engineer who said, "Well, in a free market Dow, Dow Chemical would just buy up all the uh, all the competition, and that was his bugaboo, Dow Chemical. I said, well, if they'll do this, and what you and I should do is we should start going out and starting chemical companies and selling them to Dow Chemical and at exorbitant prices because they have to buy them all, and every time we sell them a company, we'll just go start another one. Um, so you can't buy out all the all the competition in in that way. Another thing that people say is, oh, well, companies will dump. Um, Well, this on the actually Dow Chemical was on the receiving end of a European company said, well, we don't like what you're doing, Dow Chemical, and moving into European markets. And so we're going to start dumping one of your major products in New York City at well below the cost it costs what it costs us to produce it in order to put it 
put you out of business. So Dow Chemical said, okay, well, that's fine. They started buying up this very cheap compound in New York City and shipping it back to Europe and selling it in this German company's market at a profit. <laughs> so uh, monopolies just can't exist on a free market unless there's one person who is ready, willing, and able to provide a better product at a better price than anybody else could possibly do. And if that is the case, I think you should think twice before you label that person as a public menace. They may well be a public benefactor. Also, um, I, I agree with exactly what Rich says on this one, is is that essentially monopolies, free market monopolies, are either remarkably small, niche, mm. or they are um, they are unstable as they could possibly be. Stan or they're government enforced. Well, that's not a free market monopoly. The exactly. Only, the only monopolies that truly exist are the monopolies that are enforced by the state. However, um, let's talk about Standard Oil. This is a really great example. I think it was the 1880s, um, mm -hmm. about this time. Standard Oil had 85% of the marketplace. That's not a monopoly, but it's a lot. So let's call it a functional monopoly. Um, well... Com competition just kept on coming on and chipped away and chipped away at their uh, their monopoly. And at some point or another, they didn't have it any longer. By the time the government broke them up, they were down to 66% market share and there was no sign they were going to be coming back up. Yeah. Mike, um, if you've got anything more on this, uh, I'll uh, hold, hold on to you here for a second. 855-450-3733. Your thoughts on monopolies. Can they exist without the state's help? 855 450 free stump the talk show host if worse comes to worst will you be prepared you don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected storing necessary supplies like food water and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most strategicshelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster to find out more, visit strategicshelters.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. This is your Robertson Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Wednesday, gold is $13 lower at $1,115 per ounce. Silver is down $0.02 cents at $14.63 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $236. US This is a great time to buy on the dips. We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock. Give us a call at 800-874-9760 or visit us online at rrbi.co. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, September 30th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.60 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,120 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $238. 
Antiwar.com reports on Sunday, Saudi Arabia was struggling to get its story on a helicopter attack in northern Yemen Strait. Attack helicopters came across the Saudi border into a Shiite town, killing 30 civilians. Though the Saudis initially touted the incident as killing rebels, they later denied it ever happened. On Monday, their attention turned south, with Saudi warplanes launching a series of airstrikes against a wedding party in Mocha, killing another 131 civilians in one of the single deadliest incidents of the entire war and leading to a flurry of international condemnation. Saudi officials figured out by Tuesday this huge toll was a problem and followed the well-tested strategy of simply claiming it didn't happen, but the reality is, with the massive civilian killings by Saudi aircraft a near daily occurrence, the denials are less credible than ever and claims by the Saudi Foreign Ministry of their care in avoiding civilian deaths rings insultingly hollow. While the U.S. backing for the Saudi war has kept criticism to a minimum so far, the patience is wearing thin as the war drags on and the atrocities mount. Even UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, loath to point the finger at anybody, conceded on Monday that while both sides in Yemen are guilty of targeting civilians, the Saudi airstrikes are causing many more casualties. Direct U.S. involvement in the war also risks making this huge civilian toll America's problem with Representative Ted Lieu in California, a former Air Force judge, advocate general, pressing General Joseph Dunford on whether the Pentagon is keeping track of the civilian toll in airstrikes they are facilitating, adding that at this point it's clear that the Saudi-led coalition is either grossly negligent or intentionally targeting civilians. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Cecil Richards, Planned Parenthood president, disputed claims the organization sells fetal tissue at a House committee hearing on Tuesday. Republicans on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee are seeking to bar Planned Parenthood from obtaining federal funds, largely on the pretext of videos purported to show officials of the health organization attempting to sell fetal tissue. In a prepared remark, Richards said the latest smear campaign is based on efforts by our opponents to entrap our doctors and clinicians into breaking the law, and once again, our opponents have failed. Richard said the videos were deceptively edited, released by a group that is dedicated to making abortion illegal, adding that Planned Parenthood only sells a small amount of fetal tissue and recovers only reasonable expenses within the law. She noted the majority of the group's federal funding comes through Medicare reimbursements and other payments for birth control and cancer screening services, and that no federal funding is directed to abortion services. The Republican push to block the funding comes as a stopgap spending bill to keep the government operating past Thursday is under consideration. ExpressCoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and more. ExpressCoin prides themselves on their customer service, so much so that the back end on the website should allow them to be even more focused on your needs. Get started at expresscoin.fppradio.com. Reuters reports Georgia's parole board denied a request for clemency by the lone woman on the state's death row just hours before her scheduled execution on Tuesday for her role in her husband's murder. The state's Board of Pardons and Parole met Tuesday to decide whether its refusal earlier this year to commute the sentence of Kelly Gissendander's sentence to life in prison should stand. Board members were not swayed by the inmate's latest appeal for clemency, which emphasized her model behavior in prison and remorse for plotting her husband's murder in 1997. They also did not appear moved by a letter sent by an archbishop on behalf of Pope Francis urging them to commute the inmate's death sentence. Several last-minute appeals to the U.S. Supreme Court and Georgia Supreme Court were denied. Gesson Daner was executed at 12.21 a.m. on Wednesday. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
The new Netflix gas lets users instantly inhale multiple seasons of TV shows. An area man is worried the nation's healthcare debate might be getting political, and a bullied eighth grader incorrectly thought classmates would leave him alone during a field trip to the 9-11 memorial. Don't mistake my kind, gentle tone for one of love or support. This is The Onion Week in Review. According to a report released this Tuesday, no one, absolutely no one, will ever stack up to your eighth grade boyfriend, Brian Bowden, who you dated for six weeks in middle school. A 43-page study from Stanford University confirmed that no other guy in your life will ever be as kind or caring as the 13-year-old who held your hand during the scary parts of Jurassic Park, who had that really cool chain wallet, and who bought you two pink carnations on Valentine's Day. The report added that while your current boyfriend does have a lot going for him, he will certainly never cut class with you to listen to the dead Kennedy's Frankenchrist on a Sony Discman. Brian used to do that with you. He used to do it all the time. This is the Onion News Network. If you spend any time talking about sort of uh, libertarian theory, the bugbear of monopolies is going to come up. People are going to be like, well, in the absence of government, I mean, why do we have antitrust laws? For God's sake, Rich Paul, why do we have antitrust laws if monopolies aren't a terrible scourge? We have antitrust laws because bad producers want to stop good producers from producing so that they can take their market share. That's the short answer. And also because there's been a lot of bad economics foisted on on the public over the centuries. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who want to believe Keynes and Marx. Um, but uh, it doesn't bear out. Yeah, you know, for me, what I, I assume that they have antitrust laws is is because they don't trust the marketplace to handle issues. Um, they keep they keep the little guy down, and when the little guy then can't compete against the uh, the big companies, they say, look, see, it's a market failure. Well, you shouldn't have kept him out in the first place. Let's bring Mike from Clackamas, Oregon, back on. Uh, Mike, we, we spent a little bit of time explaining why we believe that uh, the idea of a, mon- a free market monopoly is – well, it's difficult to point to because one hasn't truly existed, but even the ones that have existed to some extent, like, uh, you know, the market makers as they were. To um, be fair, there's never been a free enough market to support a free market monopoly. Right. So we can't say for sure that it wouldn't happen. That's another thing is, is that we're not allowed to compete against uh, the state controlled marketplaces. So go on, Mike. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I just see what you're saying. Um so before you guys went to break, uh, you guys had brought up the subject of a state enforced monopoly, and I apologize for always mentioning this when I when I call in from time to time. But the New Hampshire Liquor Commission is a huge monopoly in New Hampshire. It's just an example remember- of uh, a state enforced monopoly. Is is that in the state of New Hampshire? There, it's it's not actually a monopoly in the state of New Hampshire, but they do they they hand out the the licenses. There are a few places in New Hampshire that you can buy liquor that aren't the state liquor stores, but they still hand okay, out the licenses. Those, mm-hmm. Right, but those okay. The, the, there are actually two stores that you're describing, and those stores are at the, up uh, in the North Country of New Hampshire, and I, they're two agency stores. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they still have to purchase through the law in the Concord Warehouse, which is in, I believe, Nashua and Concord for their, their liquor and wine. So even though they're, they're agency stores, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they still have to go through the state. I wouldn't but, doubt it for a second. Um, which would make it a full yeah. monopoly if all the liquor has to pass through their hands. Yeah. Right. Um, it's a monopoly. But, you know, it was, it was funny when you would mention a state enforced monopoly because when I was working at the store in Plymouth, New Hampshire, I had a guy approach me. He was probably in his mid-60s, and he was actually complaining to me that the prices in New Hampshire for liquor were actually too low. And I said, what do you mean by that? That's ridiculous. Now, compared to other states like Massachusetts and New Jersey and Connecticut, he's right. They are very low in New Hampshire because there's no sales taxes, no income tax. However, you can't com- you the liquor store in Plymouth cannot compete with a liquor store in Portsmouth or Lincoln because it's all the same system, it's all the same price. 
So what he says to me is, you, this state, meaning New Hampshire, needs a good, strong tax system. I said, sir, you're actually asking for higher prices. What is wrong with you? And he says to me, oh, you ought to do a little research on, on how government works. And I just laughed at him. I said, sir, I know exactly how government works. <laughs> they are a simple gang. They are nothing but a criminal gang. Thanks. So I told him his ball he just walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call, Mike. Appreciate it. 855-450-3733. It's, uh, it's surprising how many people really just want uh, more state intervention in their lives. They think that it's going to work out well for them. But yeah. the bigger governments, they tend not to work out well for you. And the free market even has a solution for that kind of person. You can mi- hire Mr. Spanks a lot or whoever you so please to follow you around and do something mean to you if you do something of which you don't approve um and they might she might rehabilitate you or you might just enjoy the spankings but one way or the other you could have someone tell you what to do you don't have to impose it on all of us a few hundred years ago um, it would have been absurd to suggest that people of different religions could live alongside each other right like you know to the idea of having quakers and puritans uh, living next to each other was so ab- abhorrent to the people in the massachusetts bay colony the leaders of the massachusetts bay colony that they were willing to kill quakers to get them out um they drove of people out there's you know this happens all over and mm-hmm. you can still see it to some extent with uh, some people's intolerance for other religions these days the one that comes to mind currently is islam mm-hmm. um, but that's mostly red and it doesn't have anything that has little to do with sort of a day-to-day existence. Most Muslims don't find themselves, uh, you know, driven out of town by a, a band of crazy Christians or something, um, or vice versa, for that matter. Mm-hmm. But uh, I guess that does happen somewhat in the Middle East or so. It, uh, I'm, yeah, they're, 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 you know, there's certainly situations where Christians are being killed in the Middle East. There's no doubt about it. Um, but. The idea that people of different religions could live alongside each other has obviously been proven. I'd say Mm -hmm. that it's clear we can do that now. Now, I want to know, is it possible for people with different governments to live right alongside of each other? Can people, instead of having a government that's tied to a land mass, like say, you know, it claims this particular polygon on the map and all the services within that polygon will either be allowed by the government or provided by the government, depending on how the government says. Because everything that goes on is either permitted by the state or supplied by it. That's how things essentially work. Well, or they just fail to stop it. Or they fail to stop uh, it. I, I, I see that feelingly as a retired drug dealer. That's true. They, um, do, they, 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 do, they do fail to stop plenty. But that's a failing of the state, not, uh, not, their, not, not their permission. In theory, there's no difference between theory and practice, but in practice there generally is. <laughs> so if they, uh, if, for instance, the governments weren't tied to land masses, then, you know, I as a New Hampshireite, maybe I could head on down to Florida for a vacation and not wear my seatbelt. Would that be such a terrible thing for people if governments, uh, for whatever reason, you know, came into conflict for, um, you know, they probably wouldn't go to war. They'd, you know, negotiate the same way that insurance companies do. When vehicles crash, insurance companies have come into conflict. Well, there are nobody exam- dies. There are well, examples of that. If you look at the Ottoman Empire. Uh, before the Young Turks took over in Turkey and mm-hmm. proceeded to slaughter the Armenians. And destroy but everything. Yeah. If you look at the time before that, if you committed certain offenses that were considered like religious or sexual things, you would be referred back to the elders of your church. It was called confessional justice. So if you were a Catholic, they would give you to the Catholics and say, you know, this guy is a sodomite. And let them stone you instead of doing it themselves. Or whatever they do uh, or, in the case. Yeah, yeah, whatever they were. But but you referred back to your religion. And what that did is effectively it gave you many parallel justice systems uh, that you could subscribe to. And as you describe, if there was a conflict between people of different churches, 
They would be, uh, then the elders of the church would kind of confer with each other and negotiate something. Yeah. Or an arbiter, a third party arbiter would be picked um, in order to, you know, make things happen. I'm sure that there's circumstances where governments would not be able to uh, resolve things, but we have that today. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully it wouldn't uh, devolve into what it does today. Yeah. Utopia is not an option. Right. Utopia you doesn't exist. Yeah. It, it's, as a matter of fact, it's Greek for nowhere. <laughs> um, so if you want utopia, go there. But, uh, you know, I think that free markets can come way closer to a just solution because they would allow innovation and alternate financing and all kinds. Of free markets supply us with the vast majority of things that we enjoy. The question is, can they provide sort of the rest of the stuff? Can they provide justice? Can they provide security? Can they provide these things? Protection for the poor. Can they provide that? Because I think they can. Do you not think they can? 855-450-3733. Let's play Stump the Talk Show host. 855-450-FREE. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through ExpressCoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to SaveItPurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through SaveItPurse.com. It's SaveItPurse.com. My name is Bill Bonner, and I'm the president of the largest private news and research network in the world. And I paid for this airtime because I have an important message to the American people. There's a change coming that the government isn't telling you about. This change has deep implications for life in America, from where you shop to the doctors you visit and the family you want to protect. Look, I've made predictions like this before. Thing is, I was right then too. A few years ago, I warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, I warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. But this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. You can watch the video for free right now by going to disappearingwealth.com. Again, that's disappearingwealth.com. Free Talk Live. Why would they go around bombing people around the world? Doesn't that make us less safe? Oh, you know what? I guess some of these people got it coming. It's a good day to be dead if you're a terrorist. So it's good. How many of the Democrat people that the U.S. military has killed in the last decade have been terrorists? A whole bunch of them. You know what? You sound like some liberal church. What percentage? A lot of people I'm not a liberal, sir. Coming. Liberals you know support what? war, from what I can tell. Take a look. They Obama looks war. support war when we need it. We have justifiable we need war. war. You know, people like you. <laughs> you are for good men do nothing, you jerk. Wait, 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 wait a second, child the jerk. I'm justified. not bombing anyone. You can feel however you feel about me, but Smedley Butler, the two-time Medal of Honor winning Marine, felt the same way. Well, you know what? The cars are headed the right way. You know what? We should have went after China. We should have chased those tricons across that river. And we should have bombed them. Uh, we should have nuked them. We should have... Uh, you are horrible. Them. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. 
If you have a business, you know that IT can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. IT can serve your needs reliably, predictably, and on time. Rootwork Infotech helps businesses achieve always-on reliability. They're nerds, no business, and can meet your needs. To prove it, they'll give you 30 minutes on the phone with a senior consultant for free to answer any of your IT questions. Just go to rootwork.it slash FTL to get your free call. That's R-O-O-T work.it slash FTL. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Again, it's 855 450 free. We're talking about, um, well, the idea of decoupling government from land masses, see what that might be like. Because I think that that might be a really great thing. Um, already, governments do this to some extent. If you travel abroad and you have some kind of terrible problem with the government that you're of the country in which you uh, are, reside, whether you've actually committed a crime or not, um, you know. Your state will likely work with you. Your government will likely work with you um, through the consulate or whatever and to to, uh, to help you gain your freedom because it's like, oh, well, he didn't know. You know, he's used to the laws here, and he goes over there to spend a little time, and then you guys arrest him. Uh, but it doesn't always work. There's no doubt about it. But to, like I was saying, it, to some extent, it, uh, it works. I am heading uh, traveling, doing some traveling here at the uh, end of October to Las Vegas where – I don't expect to have any pr- trouble with their legal apparatus, <laughs> hopefully. Um, Stay on the Strip. <laughs> well, I'm going to downtown, actually. It's just off the Strip. It's the, the beautiful D Hotel. They're trying to make the downtown a, uh, a, a tourist center now, too. The D Hotel accepts Bitcoin, and this is for the Bitcoin Investor Conference. So this is a pretty big deal. It's exciting. We're going to have uh, great speakers there, including Dr. Stephanie Murphy, Bitcoin Bell, Joseph Von Perling, uh, Paul Pui. Trace Mayer, uh, Stephen Michaels is putting the event on. He'll be speaking, too. I'll be emceeing, uh, helping out as best I can. If you want to get some tickets to our first ever event in uh, Las Vegas, well, first ever live broadcast in Las Vegas. I've been there, so, I mean, I guess you could call it an event. <laughs> but uh, Come see us uh, at the Bitcoin Investor Conference. Get your tickets now, bitcoininvestor.com. Love to see you out there. It'll be a lot of fun, bitcoininvestor.com. For your tickets to the Bitcoin Investor Conference. So, uh, Rich Paul, we were talking here about this um, situation where I guess they had um, banned the use of wild animals in circuses in the Netherlands. We got kind of sidetracked, and that's what Free Talk Live is about, but I don't mind bringing it back to this issue. What they're saying is, is that big news. This is from uh, OneGreenPlanet.org. They're excited about this news. Uh, Latrice Harrison writing, big news for the Netherlands this week. They became the 10th. Are they going to make the whole thing green? Because we're kind of used to being two-thirds blue. Yeah, well, not anymore. (laughs) That doesn't sound healthy. (laughs) As they become the 10th country to officially ban the use of wild animals in circuses. The ban, which was drafted back in 2014, went into effect this week to include big cats, elephants, giraffes, zebras, sea lions, and primates. I wish I understood what goes on in folks' minds that, uh, you know, like this, like this, and I don't really, I don't want to vilify them or anything, I just don't understand, mm. is why is it that dogs, cats, cows, sheep, goats are somehow a different classification, they have different minds than big cats, elephants, giraffes, zebras, sea lions, and primates. A zebra and a horse, I mean, if, if a zebra is born in captivity... What's the difference between that zebra and a horse? I don't know. Have you ever tried to train a zebra? I hear that they're very difficult to train. Um, that, you know, like well, it's difficult to, to do that. It may be that's the difference between a zebra and a horse that would cause people to think of it as wilder, but I don't see why being more difficult to break would necessarily result in a different class of Right. That's what they're saying here is, is, I mean, if you can teach a cow to jump through a flaming hoop, 
why is it okay for the uh, it's 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 okay for the cow to do it, but not okay for the lion to do it? I just don't really know. Um, well, yeah, that's an that's an interesting question. But then again, why is it okay for some animal to come along and kill Cecil the lion, and it's not okay for you and me to do it, or it's okay for Cecil the lion. I don't know if you remember the dentist who shot the lion a yes. little while later. That sure. was Cecil the lion. And, you know, it's not any problem for anybody if Cecil the lion goes and whacks a zebra. That's what he eats, or a gazelle, or whatever you find out there in, in Cecil's neighborhood. So if it's okay for Cecil to kill uh, a zebra, then why is it not okay for me to kill a zebra? I think what the concern there would be is is that uh, humans, when entered into a ecosphere, generally have never been in inside of human history responsible for sort of the amount of animals that they kill. It's mm-hmm. basically the tragedy of the commons. If you know what what happens is is that uh, you know say your tribe and my tribes competing for the buffaloes on the plain, right? Well. At that point, we're incentivized to get as much buffalo meat as possible, as quickly as possible, and not necessarily maintain it because the other tribe is tribe isn't going to maintain. They're not going to maintain it, so you know it's this race to the bottom. So then it would become it would sounds like the the answer to that is uh, is private property. If you sure. have large game reserves, or if you're going to enter in there and hunt, you're going to pay the owner of the game reserve. Uh, X number of dollars for for everything you kill, then that's going to give him an incentive to then make sure that that population of animals is healthy. That's what happened with Cecil, though, is he was on a uh, private, uh, well, not a private, but he was on a a protected game reserve, and then he was uh, tricked off with some uh, meat, and then, um, you know, the doctor put a bow in him and chased him for like 40 hours after that. So that was uh, crazy. That's epic. Yeah, epic. Um, and you know, I don't know. Again, Cecil, there there are probably some zebras and and some gazelles out there that are very happy that Cecil died when he did because they remain uneaten. And so the question is, how do you measure the life of Cecil versus the life of his prey? One thing I think this brings to mind is uh, these situations where. Uh, people want to see um, very intelligent marine mammals like dolphins and uh, killer whales released, that they're kept in uh, terrible conditions and stuff like that. There have been instances where dolphins have escaped and trained dolphins have escaped. And then they'll go to a harbor or something like that and then do tricks for food. Mm-hmm. Now, what's a, a domesticated animal or, a, a, you know, a, a, a dolphin in captivity is doing tricks for food, a go- dolphin in the wild doing tricks for food. The dolphin finds, eh, this is a skill set I have, and it is, uh, it's easier than chasing down food. And you know, I, I really don't get along with those other dolphins because I never knew them very well. Mm-hmm. I just wonder whether, wh- what if you set up a, an animal park basically on the side of a bay and taught wild animals to tricks for food? Mm-hmm. Would that still piss off the, uh, the the greenies? The you know. The- See, I would call that busking. Um, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like you know you're playing your guitar. They're throwing some money in your case, but instead of money, they throw fish, and and you have to eat it right away because otherwise the fish will smell terrible. <laughs> but you know, I never saw a porcupine with a guitar uh, with a guitar case anyway. So yeah, I don't I don't see any necessarily any problem with that. Um, it again, you'd want some human to be watching out for that area and getting paid for it so he would make sure that they were healthy in the winter when the tourists didn't come. What are your thoughts on uh, animals, circuses? Are these things cruel? 855 450 3733. It's 855 453 Free Talk Live, LRN.FM on Skype, 855 453. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com. 
enhancing health and privacy. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't take on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. There comes a time when you need custom embroidered or screen printed apparel for your business, organization, or a special event. Corporate Casuals has been helping people create great looking logoed apparel for over 25 years. They can produce a single piece or thousands using name brand apparel like Nike, Patagonia, Adidas, and Hanes. Create your logo in their online embroidery design studio or upload your existing logo and they'll turn it into embroidery. Go to CorporateCasuals.com FTL and include FTL in the order notes and save 5% on your order. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24 7 to help you we also have other pain relieving braces too for your shoulder ankle or back you may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you so please call now 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Well, the Netherlands banning the use of wild animals, a uh, chimpanzee, Getting habeas corpus, the number for you to call in and comment on that is 855-450-3733. Or, um, actually, Skype is uh, another option. Our uh, username there on Skype is lrn.fm, and you can uh, use Skype to communicate with us. Usually you sound pretty good. So going on with this story here from um, the Netherlands. Oh, by the way, if you want to get uh, back episodes of Free Talk Live, I was just listening to one the other day. Um, it, you can go to archives.freetalklive.com. We have them arranged there, make it very easy for you to get archives going back as far as more than 10 years. Um, 855-450-FREE, and that's archives.freetalklive.com. Here from onegreenplanet.org, 
talking about the Netherlands banning the use of wild animals in circuses. Currently, there are 116 captive wild animals that regularly appear in the Netherlands' 22 circuses. The animals are kept in small cages in between performances and are trained with whips and barbed hooks to do unnatural things like jumping through hoops of fire. Ultimately, this uh, constant cruelty wears the animal both down physically and mentally, all for the sake of human entertainment. The health of animals is more important than their use for parties or clinging to outdated traditions, said uh, Secretary Sharon Dijksma. By banning the use of wild animals in the circus, the people of the Netherlands are taking a united stand against animal cruelty. However, as long as wild animals continue to appear other countries in other countries' circuses, there's still some cause for concern. Kieran Harkin, director of Four Paws UK, explains, Although we wholeheartedly congratulate the Netherlands in passing this legislation, we're concerned what will happen to the 16 traveling circuses with 119 animals. Will they simply travel to the UK and Germany where they can still work? I guess there's uh, of these um, uh, 10 countries or whatever that have banned uh, the 10th countries. Yes. Uh, so uh, 10 countries that have banned circuses. Um, this is uh, that's not Germany and the UK. Although we um, going on here, uh, 16 traveling services, 19 animals. Will they travel to the UK where, um, and Germany where they can still work? We really need all of Europe to take action on this outdated excuse for entertainment to ensure the welfare of these remaining animals can be uh, cared for. With animal-free circuses like Cirque du Soleil leading the way in amazing animal um, human innovation. Hmm, it's interesting that they call humans, uh, the, or Cirque du Soleil, animal-free. Yeah, that is interesting because last I checked, humans were animals. And I think that's where a lot of the stuff comes from is mankind has been taught by uh, schools of philosophy for a long time to think of itself as being apart from nature. And I see mankind as being a part of nature. You know, to me, for a man to build a skyscraper is no less natural than for a beaver to build a dam. Yeah, these are highly trained primates that are well uh, compensated for their time and energy. Uh, they are able to discuss what... Uh, you know, what they want from their job and what they don't want from their job. Um, it's like, for, for instance, my dog, she, she gets to go out every single day. Um, she likes to come in at night, but she goes out sometimes at night and then comes back in. She's, she's, she's kind of uh, picky like that. You know, she wants to go out when she wants to go out and wants to come in when she wants to come in. But she's constantly coming back in. Like she's setting her expectations for what her life is like. Now, some dogs don't get to make this decision, you know. Maybe they're just not capable of making this decision. But if somebody has a dog that they don't let out to do its thing, do they really have the right to complain how circus animals are treated? I mean, uh, you're stopping its volition, the dog's volition at that point. It's kidnapping, essentially, from a human standpoint. Um, human standpoint. I and that's how PETA regards it. It, well, it, it, uh, that's that maybe, people for the ethical treatment of animals. Yeah, they're, they're Not interesting people folks. people eating ta tasty animals, I stand correct. They're interesting folks, um, those PETA pe people and what they believe, but they're, they're a lot more consistent than the rest of the animal advocates out there, it seems to me. Well, until they get to humans, because they're all socialists, so they want us all kept in zoos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Charlie calling in uh, from um, Arizona. Charlie, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, good evening, friends. Uh, I don't know if you uh, remember, but this happened uh, uh, a number of years ago in uh, California, and uh, uh, there was, a, uh, uh, I believe, a couple that had a uh, chimpanzee that was uh, uh, essentially part of the family. It was uh, pampered and considered part of the family, and... Uh, a uh, lady had come to visit, and this uh, chimpanzee ended up uh, tearing off her face. That was Connecticut, and, uh, actually. Oh, uh, it was in California. I'm pretty sure it there was. There may have been another one, but the case I'm talking another, about. Another face tearing off? I mean, it seems like a... Yeah, yeah. And, right, well, uh, we'll I mean, on this one. Go ahead. Aside from, I mean, uh, 
the lady almost died, yeah. and there was a uh, quite a long uh, legal dispute over the whole matter. Yeah, it was a, so, a terrible thing. I think that there was a, a death in the family. I'm not entirely sure um, how it worked uh, exactly, but um, yeah, there was a, some situation a chimpanzee harmed some sort of non-family member. So, what what are your thoughts on it? Well, that's uh, you know, uh, I, I think the problem is uh, uh, there are certain people that are uh, trying to uh, try to anthropomorphize animals, and uh, it doesn't work. Animals are our animals, and humans are humans. Mm -hmm. And when they uh, try and uh, uh, equate them, that's when you run into problems. Well, so do you think people shouldn't be able to keep um, a chimpanzee as a pet? Cause, uh, well, I mean, no, I'm not saying that at all, but they it should be recognized that they are they're, they're animals, and uh, one of the definitions of a, uh, a violent person or a, uh, antisocial person is that they are an animal, correct? No, oh, sure. Yeah, that's one of the, people, so, uh, that's one of the things people say about it. I, I think the difference sort of between chimpanzees and maybe a dog is is that people feel they can handle a dog. If a dog gets out of control, at the very least, we can handle the dog. But a chimpanzee gets out of control, there's nothing you're going to do about it. These things, it's like Superman. Uh, oh, yeah. Know, I mean, it, it tore this lady up. Yeah. A bear what... can be formidable, too. And, of course, they're around anyway, whether we like it or not. Who's that? Bears. Oh yeah, bears. Bears are uh, running amok. There's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a difficult question to sort of answer. I I grew up across the street. I'm from Bradenton, Florida. Um, this is a circus town. Sarasota, Florida is where the Ringling Brothers of Bartima Bailey Circus used to winter, and um, Bradenton's right next door. This they were the people right across the street had lions and tigers and uh, all kinds of big cats. Bears, oh my! And they, uh, yeah, I, we, I'd go over there and see them on a regular basis. We were allowed to, you know, go up. They had a little petition. You weren't allowed to go any closer than this um, to see them. But and they didn't live in the house. That's for sure. These were, you know, these were animals in, in cages. But um, you know, I, I guess it was just a little more common for me. Oh but, sure, I mean they have a, a place here in Arizona that they, uh, uh, wild country or something, and they. Uh, they have a, a number of uh, of uh, exotic and uh, you know wild animals, and um, they're well taken care of. And you can uh, uh, visit them in uh, in approximately their uh, natural habitat. Yeah, I think so, that's the best uh, way to see them. Although it uh, scares the heck out of me. Of these few videos I've seen of like lions jumping on top of cars and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's frightening stuff. Charlie, thank you for the call. Appreciate it. What? 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-free. What do you think? Should people be barred from having animals like this? In a libertarian society, they'd be able to have them if they wanted. They'd just be responsible. 855-450-free. Free Talk Live. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. Know what's always on my mind, kid? Safety. I live, eat, and breathe safety. When I wake up in the morning, I have a large cup of safety with two sugars and a dash of safety. Safety matters. Your safety, my safety, everybody's safety. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products, services, and resources to help keep our facility safe and our people safer. Now pass me one of those safety donuts over there. Call clickgranger.com/safety or stop by. Granger for the ones 
who get it done. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Why would you go anywhere else? KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free water purification kit for a limited time with any body armor package. Go to KDArmor.com That's C-A-T-I Armor.com Come and take it. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Silvia rated an A-plus by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Halloween Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. BlakeDevelopment.net is a global leader in website creation, app development, and online marketing, catering to businesses of all sizes. There's really no job too big or too small for BlakeDevelopment.net. Do you have an idea for a killer app, but you don't know how to code it? Are you missing out on online sales? Or maybe your business needs help with social media. Websites start at just 200 bucks, and they're offering three years of free domain registry. Yes, they take Bitcoin. 844-SITE-123. BlakeDevelopment.net, 844-SITE-123. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Seven three three, or you can call us on Skype. Might be able to slip you in here in the uh, final moments of the show. It's Mark with you, Rich Paul, and you can go to amp.freetalklive.com and help us spread the ideas of liberty. The idea of Free Talk Live is is that we're spreading the the ideas of liberty in a way that isn't being done by other organizations. We're bringing it to the people, uh, to the average everyday folks through talk radio. It isn't being done um, on the scale that we're doing it by by anyone. And, you know, mostly when you see libertarian organizations, they're think tanks and things like that. And those are valuable, but they're just different. If you think that your $5 a month uh, will go far here to reach more people, I do. Um, we can actually quantify how many people we can reach with your 5 bucks. <laughs> I think it's, uh, let's see, 15 people with your $5 a month with uh, your $5 is uh, the number we've quantified because we... Um, actually do Google AdWords uh, with it. So if you want to reach uh, 15 people with uh, the ideas of liberty, please uh, join our AMP program. We've got some great perks. You get an uh, uh, advertising-free podcast, at least recorded advertising-free. And there's also 
the AMP group on Facebook, which is kind of like the board of directors of Free Talk Live. People get to chime in on what they think. Ideas are floated past, you know, sort of business ideas are floated past the amplifiers first. And they get to, you know, chime in and give their their opinion. So it's amp.freetalklive.com. If you like what Free Talk Live does, that's the place for you. Amp.freetalklive.com. So, Rich, you know, we've been talking about animal rights all evening, and I have yet to sort of uh, uh, articulate where I think one of the dividing lines is. For an animal to own itself, it must understand what self is. Now, one of the things that libertarians will say about people is is that they own themselves, mm-hmm. right? Like you have rights because you own you. Um, some people have argued against this. I think that those are interesting arguments or whatever, but functionally, it's fair to say that uh, a person owns themselves, I think. If somebody wants to argue that, 855-450-FREE, we can uh, attempt to uh, parse it out here. Is there an animal species, and I don't know, my biology isn't that good, is there an animal species that will automatically attack humans on sight? Hmm. I can't, I mean, like, besides mosquitoes, um, you know, like, I can't think of anything big, if that's what you're asking. Okay, well, let's take mosquitoes. Are we justified in wiping out the entire race of mosquitoes because they attack humans on sight? I wouldn't have a problem with that. That wouldn't wouldn't bother me a bit. One of the things about mosquitoes is is, uh, I think that they're... Um, there's some value in the way that they help with the uh, decomposition of dead things. Um, I think it's like the only value to them. Somebody might have a better answer than I do, but, um, you know, there, there may yeah. be some value to mosquitoes in a, in an ecosystem. Well, the thing is, if things are not breaking down, if things are not rotting completely for want of mosquitoes and things do rot in mosquito free areas. So I think they yeah, may, probably. they may do some of the work, but that doesn't mean that some, something else couldn't do that same work. But, uh, you know, even if they did, that's a, if you have that energy being left on the table, so to speak, that's an evolutionary niche and something is going to learn to exploit that potential There's energy. There's plenty of things that are ready to do that too. Um, but yeah, mosquitoes are the best thing. I wouldn't mind seeing them wiped out. Uh, but I, I guess what I, when, when I was talking about an animal recognizing self, so they've done some um, tests and they've discovered that chimpanzees, Elephants, some kinds of magpies, um, you know, there's some animals out there can recognize themselves in the mirror. What's a magpie? It's a crow. A crow. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're pretty smart. So they can tell themselves apart from other magpies? In a mirror. At some point, it, like, given a certain amount of time in front of a mirror, um, you know, they may not know what a mirror is right away, and it may take them a little time to discern but there's, uh, they'll figure it out. So, for instance, uh, there's a story of a chimpanzee that, um, well, it once it was introduced to a mirror, it wouldn't leave its uh, room unless it had had a chance to sort of check itself over in the mirror before departing. She wanted to make sure she was presentable before she departed the room. Ah, vanity. <laughs> Let's go to Nick calling in from Philadelphia. Nick, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. What's on your mind? Well, okay. Um, so you guys were talking about how, like, when people have uh, free range to hunt and whatnot, that they don't generally respect the uh, area and might overhunt an area. Yeah. Well, I, I hear this excuse used a lot for as to why we have, like, game commissions and stuff that, oh, people hunted the buffalo to extinction. But that doesn't necessarily actually line up to the reality of what happened. Because there were uh, train monopolies at that time that were heavily subsidized, and they would pay people to go out there and hunt these animals to extinction because they didn't like the buffaloes. They would go on the uh, tracks, and they would interfere with the uh, railway lines. They also found uh, it helpful to keep the Indians hungry. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, But uh, they actually were paying these people to... uh, to hunt them to extinction to not interfere with the business at the time. This was a heavily subsidized industry. Near extinction. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is abs- what, what you're saying is true. The buffalo was not hunted to extinction, um, but it was come. It, it came close, and it was because of a concerted effort. However, I can point to a couple of instances that come off to the top of my head. The dodo is a, a good example where they were hunted for food. 
um, to extinction. The moa was hunted by something that was much not much more than a stone age uh, a stone age man uh, hunted to extinction um, on Southeast uh, Asian islands. Um, so there's uh, that was actually I think the moa was on New Zealand. So there are certainly circumstances where we can look at how people are introduced to an area, um, how responsible they can be. I mean, when you look at a Stone well, Age person, you can't even say uh, that, you know, it's not like they were hunted with rifles. There's there's already a moral and moral judgment in that if lions had hunted the dodo bird to extinction and most of the extinct species of of history became extinct before the existence of mankind and they were hunted to extinction by other animals or just uh, or just died of something else but those that were hunted to extinction by other animals should should we say that those other species of animals were irresponsible to hunt them to extinction or do we just say well as the prophet darwin did foretell uh those animals which couldn't adapt to their environment were eventually destroyed uh by their environment and that's another kind of creative destruction because when a species goes exi- goes extinct it makes room for other species to exp- expand and eventually for other species to come into existence. So Nick is being unable yeah. to coexist with man a reasonable reason to go co- to go extinct. Terribly sorry, I thought Rich was done. Nick. So um in Pennsylvania here, we have uh deer everywhere. Like yeah. just they they walk into the roads, big, we slam into them all the time. With antlers. <laughs> yes, and people can't stand it. It drives us absolutely crazy. Now, a while back, the uh, Pennsylvania State was saying, "Oh, we have this problem with the deer. We're running. We're the deer are dying off, and we're you know there's a, a underpopulation problem." So they started shipping in deer from all over the country. You gotta be kidding! And me. now, <laughs> now it's an absolute disaster. <laughs> Is there a Department so, of Nuisance Animals down there that makes sure that you get your full quota? <laughs> you know what you guys need? You need some possums, some raccoons, armadillos, man. Those are things those? are like walking homes for bugs. <laughs> what are those uh, striped stink kitties? Uh, oh, skunks. You need one of them things. Yeah. Good, good kitty, kitty. <laughs> you bring those things into your neighborhood. <laughs> Knock over the garbage cans, and when you uh, when you protest, you get sent inside with a big noxious spray. Lord, what fools these mortals be! You know, I gotta say, I love deer to sort of see. I, I like to see them on the side of the road. I like to see them in the scenery. They're they're prettier than a, a lot of animals. You know, they're they're elegant. I like the the horns, the antlers, and stuff, but. Man, they are a pain. They get into stuff. They destroy uh, crops, and and they can kill you in your car. The, 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 I just I saw one just the other day run right smack dab into the side of a man's truck. Um, yeah. was, you know, he just decided he was going to cross the road and broke off the rearview mirror, deader than hell. Um, you know, fortunately the guy got to take him home, but you know, whatever. Nick. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I agree with what you guys were saying about how it kind of goes down to should we play God with evolution? Because is it really a big deal if an animal goes extinct? Like, wh- why is that? Like, what is this um, necessity to, like, preserve a perfect picture of an animal in time? Like, Thanks why? That, why it. It, you know, if you want to uh, uh, continue this conversation, you could do it at Facebook. Facebook.freetalklive.com. It's been Mark with you. Blake. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. 
Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc. As in Creative Commons. This is your Robertson Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Wednesday, gold is $13 lower at $1,115 per ounce. Silver is down two cents at $14.63 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at 236 US dollars. This is a great time to buy on the dips. We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock. Give us a call at 800-874-9760 or visit us online at rrbi.co. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, September 30th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.60 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,120 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $238. Antiwar.com reports on Sunday, Saudi Arabia was struggling to get its story on a helicopter attack in northern Yemen Strait. Attack helicopters came across the Saudi border into a Shiite town, killing 30 civilians. Though the Saudis initially touted the incident as killing rebels, they later denied it ever happened. On Monday, their attention turned south, with Saudi warplanes launching a series of airstrikes against a wedding party in Mocha, killing another 131 civilians in one of the single deadliest incidents of the entire war and leading to a flurry of international condemnation. Saudi officials figured out by Tuesday this huge toll was a problem and followed the well-tested strategy of simply claiming it didn't happen. But the reality is, with the massive civilian killings by Saudi aircraft, a near-daily occurrence, the denials are less credible than ever and claims by the Saudi Foreign Ministry of their care and avoiding civilian deaths rings insultingly hollow. While the U.S. backing for the Saudi war has kept criticism to a minimum so far, the patience is wearing thin as the war drags on and the atrocities mount. Even UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon loathes to point the finger at anybody conceded on Monday that while both sides in Yemen are guilty of targeting civilians, the Saudi airstrikes are causing many more casualties. Direct US involvement in the war also risks making this huge civilian toll America's problem with Representative Ted Lieu in California, a former Air Force judge, advocate general, pressing General Joseph Dunford on whether the Pentagon is keeping track of the civilian toll.